next uh, Saturday, Saturday the 1st of June 2024 and uh, I'm just going to go over a few things that are happening with the um, Native Magistrate King's Bench Court and uh, what our next moves are after um, the uh, uh, no, the Kahunungu Hui yesterday and our observation of what those Maoris and Iwi are up to and the government are going hand in hand <coughs> into a criminal organisation exposed activity of injustice and corruption fraud. <coughs> so I'm just going to explain this book here that I put together, a writ warrant, and uh, and uh, I'm sending it to the Governor General, <coughs> Cindy Asselon Kiro, Japanese, crown on her head, and her own flag um, of New Island country, and her new flag of her New Island country, New Zealand, stolen identity, stolen British flag and Confederation of Chiefs, United Chiefs flag, and uh, putting her self as the legal owner of New Zealand is not so. She's got to receive this going in the registered mail on Monday, and the writ warrant, and also the native title to New Zealand. This. 448 pages, and uh, I'll send it down to her with this one. That's about 60 pages in this book on notice to her and her government. <coughs> she is a director, not supposed to be a director of a private company, corporation, conflict, and the company's name is Crown Sovereign of New Zealand and it's really Crown Sovereign of New Island, I-S-L-A-N-D. That's what her new country is going to be, but this is a Dutch Zealand country and we're not going to let her get away with it. We're going to boot her off the land with this, writ warrant, and this title to New Zealand because they can't refute it and can't refute this video. Also, I'm going to send this video to her in front of the whole world and for New Zealand watching what we are doing to save our country from a Japanese takeover. Okay, she's there as America is Japanese country driven and authority from US federal state over Japan and a few other countries it has stolen with these kings seals and King William the Third of Orange War Powers Act in this over their heads. This King William the Third Dutchman, Zealand Dutch country here, founding of this country is going to put the writ of execution, control, possession and arrest on her and her whole government and parliament to remove them from our native lands because they're a threat of takeover of a foreign government, WEF, World Economic Forum, which she's selling it as her the legal owner of New Zealand in her New Zealand Crown Law, but this is a British Crown Law and a Maui statue of Queen Victoria Trust memorial to her title to the whole world is 
Moai, that seal there with Moai on it is standing in London, stolen by Queen Victoria in 1868 from East Island, where my family comes from, and I want it back, and the title, and what he's standing on in all those countries that are powerful, have Moai statues on them, including New York in America, that belongs to Moai underneath his feet. Okay? Everywhere he is, that's his land. The whole world is his land. The seal there beside the Crown Sovereign of Westminster Parliament next to it, and then King William IV, his eight point star of King William III of Orange, the eight point star of St. Patrick Church, and the Municipal Corporations Act with his crown on top, Queen King. William the fourth crown on top of the eight point star, the eight point star on our flag, in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west, or Naho Ifa in Maori language or native language, and that's our title to the British Crown. Okay, because they've abandoned ship and gone into the sea, lost at sea, dead at sea in capital letters. And it's all in this writ warrant and this title to the whole world and to New Zealand and Pacific Islands in this one. Okay, so this goes to Cindy Kira to pack your bags and get off our land. Okay, that's bluntly to put it because I'm there as a surrogate king, William III of Orange, Zealand, this country is Dutch found, Abel Tasman, and Dutch found, not British, or not German, or not Japanese, or not American, or not any other country that found this country. It's the Dutch, the brains that did the Admiralty mortgage lands on lands in these books with these seals. Okay, there's Moai, the other seal officer, King William seal, and he's got the Pacific Islands with the Moai tidal turbine energy bridge hydrogen economy right there. Okay, that's the power of Moai tidal turbine moon tides in there. That's our economy ready to go. <clears throat> okay, so I'm saying, Cindy Kira, you are a murderer a thief, a pretender, a crown that's not a crown, a government that's fraud and corrupted, a criminal organization you're running with Nati Hine, health trust, the trust is a debtor. You are a debtor company and a debtor person, hypocrisy, in your government and courts with a picture of Queen Elizabeth and the Maori chief above the judge's head. What's that doing in there? Where's Charlie anywhere? On your documents in the courts it says King versus the defendant, but no king up the top on above the head of the judge. So that's hypocrisy at its worst. And you flying the Union Jack flag up on the bridge, out, round on the government buildings, all over the place, but you have got rid of it. You have gazetted it out. You have revoked that flag, the 1902 Union Jack flag, flag of New Zealand. You have revoked it for Goldsmith. Minister of Culture and Flags and Treaty Settlements and Justice, all of that in the mouthful, has violated our contract flag. Okay? Violated our flag, the 1834-35 Constitution flag, 1835 King William IV 
you have violated that flag that's been flying up at Waitangi with the British flag opposite in a contract all these years. From 1834 it became a contract once the king acknowledged the flag verbally saying pick a flag. When he said pick a flag that's a verbal contract not a written contract, it's a verbal contract to make a decision to pick that flag with the black line in it as Satan, to keep Satan out. Cindy Kiro, you are that black line, Satan, with Nati Hine as terrorists and as traitors and devil, devil, people on of Satan culling the nation of people and jabbing them. You are the one that is driving Ngāti Hene Health Trust to promote the jabbing, the COVID-19 lethal injection to kill people. That's what I'm charging you in this native court as murdering innocent lives. Okay, now I'm going to say that straight to your face. When you get this video, it's to you that you must get the hell off our native land because we don't want your poison and yourself, Japanese, mixed up with Maoris. You invented the word Maori to sell Maori land, to do what you want with Maori, make a co-government with Maori, and then exterminate them at the same time. And those Maoris up north have got no brains to go along with you and your dirty tricks. You are immigrant surname. You are not Tahitian title to these lands. Okay, Ngāpui, Ngāti Pro, Tainui is Tahitian and Te Arawa is Hawaiian. Those are Pacific people that got here before you little Japanese come here with your deadly little tricks from America that took you over and flattened your country and blew it up. That's America is no good brain, poor rangi, mad in the head like Biden. You're like Biden. A murderer. Terrorist. In front of everybody. That's why I'm saying you are a terrorist, Cindy Kiro, because you promote the jabbing to get rid of people. Nothing wrong with them. I've got these pictures here. I've screen printed them and put them there with your photos there as evidence of murder. Genocide and killing indiscriminately like Israel. Same thing. Taking over countries, stealing DNA. Whaka Papa is DNA. And you're changing the DNA when you say it's safe. It's not safe. Your vaccine, you go with it out. Off the bloody land. You're going out. I said so in this court. This is a court right here where I am always with all these books. Okay? We've had enough of you and your bullshit lies because Moai is the truth. L-O-R-E and the L-A-W law is King William III War Powers Act to get you off the land. You got on the land with his act of immigration and of mortgage lands. Where you got the money from to get all your weapons in America, Israel, Ukraine, all the dirty places that have got all the armor shooting everybody up. You got the money out of that. And out of that. It don't belong to you. The law belongs to the king of emperors. The Dutch. Okay? Not the Germans didn't make the law. 
the Dutch had the brains to go around the world and do all the work, and you dirty lot come along and grabbed it. The Queen Victoria grabbed it, didn't have to work for it, just grabbed it, and her crown made all the dirty money. That's all the dirty money in the United Nations and in America, the fiat money, out of the fake corrupted pound note, one bar, unpatented, Rothschild banknotes, all, everything from then was fraud, all the way through. One fraud equals all fraud of Queen Victoria, 1837. Okay, that's all I can say about you, Sinecura, because you're flipping this over and keeping it rolling, and we're going to jam up with this writ warrant and kick you off the land, because this is the law that got you on the land in the first place, and you have no title. You have no title, you haven't refuted this, and it's coming for you and the people of Aotea, New Zealand. The native-born people on the land want justice. I want my justice in our own court, because your court didn't work for me in the district court in Auckland, where I went, got thrown in the prison, and the court didn't have my court hearing. I wasn't summoned to the court after prison, and you stole my birth certificate money, a million bucks worth of birth certificate, and sucked on it and paid your lawyer that supposed to be there for me. He was there for the other Maoris, and they probably got there to get broken into too. Over a year, you sucked on my birth certificate in the court and off briefly. We're back on again now because I'll leave that going. The uh, internet cuts itself off. I think someone's playing around with it and interfering with my feed. Uh, so, Cindy Kira, you will get these books and the stick I've got here. Oh, here, it's, it's getting loaded up, but a stick. You're going to get a stick like this one with all the videos on it, affidavits. The video affidavits, the latest ones that I've got online. It's all on Facebook. Everything I do is disclosed. That's why I go on Facebook, Rachel Wittana, up there at Napui, because that's the only way to get justice because it's not no justice that I've had from those courts will not get over the top of this native magistrate Kingsman's court. Okay, because you have no jurisdiction or no authority from Westminster. You only made it up in your head and you have taken the Union Jack flag out, revoked it, and then put a new flag up. I'm saying we have the flag, the original 1834-1835 Constitution flag of King William IV, and that's solidified on treaty grounds in Waitangi every year until you came along, your little Japanese come along and stuck your little flag up the top of our British ship mast. Now that's an offence on its own, but Napui let her put it up. The iwi is the monster Satan black line on that flag too. So all of you are going to get booted by the people in this country and us, the native magistrate Kingsman's court, with the high court law rules. What we say is goes is because you haven't refuted anything over as much as since 2000. All the affidavits that I've ever made, I've stacked them up and we're making new cases all the time and put them back in as a new case. So all those cases all the way back through the years will pluck you off one by one. You first, Cindy Kira, you're the first in a whole lineup in this book. The Rick Warren with your photo right there and your offensive little flag with your crown on it. Okay? No more you. You can go back to Japan. Go back. 
okay, you and your marriage. You get it in your head. The Maori is designed in a park ass head. It's not real, people. It is a fake, but it's up to the Maori who wants it back. You're caught in a contract with Cindy Kiro, spinning it over and over and over from the last corrupted Prime Minister and Governor General, ran away. Cindy Kiro, you, in a lake, just in the den, ran away. He put the needle in people, then ran away. Her and her Adern family went into Tokoro Island and jabbed those people there. They never had COVID, they've never had flu or anything like that. She just went there, Ross, her dad, went there and jabbed them because he was ambassador for New Zealand. He gets the hanging rope too of King William III of Orange. Okay, you're getting all those acts, 1689 acts all the way through to King William IV, X, hanging in chains, bringing it back in our court. <clears throat> You're going to hang for that because Ross Ardern killed those people. Okay? And Ian Ardern, the Latter day Saints church, the bloody churches. It's the churches doing all the damage and stealing all the money. They're the richest people in the world, the churches. The Vatican Church, the Church of England, the Catholic Church, the, oh, every church. Mormon church in America, they go around knocking on doors and suck everybody in. Right? New churches have stolen the money. Baptist church, every church, and even Eddie Mitchell, the Baptist church that he's in, stole 17 trillion from me. 17 trillion on three of these sticks. He sent a barrister from here and a Freemason from New Zealand. Went to Edinburgh, where I told him where to go, take these three sticks and check our title with Paramount Chief Tera Waikato Whanahiri here in Manukau. And I knew it was worth trillions, more than 17 trillion. But that's what he said, John. They said it's worth 17 trillion. Where's the rest, Eddie Mitchell, thief? Someone's going to come after you. You know, the intel did nothing. The police here did nothing. They said they couldn't do anything. Well, I'm not finished with you yet because I'm doing thorough investigations and I'll catch you right soon. You won't get away because Moai is looking at you. The Moai statue is looking at you and your brother, Alfred Mitchell, that wrote up Te Ture Whenua, Maori Act 93 and the Maori Land Court. They're corrupted too. They're in these books too. Caught in the act. Caught in the fraud, Eddie Mitchell. You and Alfred are caught in the fraud because I've been watching you fellas all along. And you had the cheek to say to me, if I followed you and stuck with you, I would be a millionaire. No. You're going to get this on your head, Eddie. Out with you. You're going to go back to Australia and they'll deal with you there. In the Abos will deal with you because they've done that over there too. Your ancestors, the prison convicts. That's what you are. You and Alfred, prison convicts because you come from New South Wales, Australia. And I'm going straight in there with a lawyer and kick you out. Well, catch you out with the 17 trillion plus. Where's the money, Eddie? Where is the money? Your photo's going in here today. Okay? Everybody's going to see what you look like today because I'm putting it and sending it to the Governor General, so they know you're one of them. You're all in the scam, Eddie. You are in the real estate, which is this, and this native title. Where did you get your title from, Eddie? It's going to be stripped off you with this native title. The Moriori Manukau Rogan Wanoa title. Okay, the Wanoa Maui at the East Cape, and London, the Moai there, the Moai in New York, the Moai in France, the Moai everywhere. That's Queen Victoria's crown. Business. Legal. Inheritance of her crown. That we're taking over as the Moai crown, King William IV Trust. Taking over your trust. You're going to sink your trust, Eddie Mitchell, and Cindy Kiro's corporate business. Crown Sovereign of New Zealand. You know what she did with her old company? 
Queen and Right of Nisa, kicked it into the rubbish bin and picked up this one out of nowhere as if to say she's the crown and she's the sovereign. No, she's a thief. It don't belong to her. It belongs to the people of New Zealand. She's picking up the lease on the land and she hasn't got the lease title of King George IV and Te Rawaikato Wharehirehere Manukau, the Moriori chief here, was here before her little Japanese ass got here and got on the land with these Admiralty <coughs> Mortgage Land titles. Okay, that's what I'm saying. As the prosecutor and registrar of this court. Okay, we've got judges. <coughs> One of the judges is the Chief Justice Michelle Coco. Okay, she knows what to do to pull you in this court anywhere in the world with a free passage flag and a free passage court. We don't need a building to go into. We're going into the Marae anyway because you stole that too and made them pay up to go in them. Okay? Your government's going out the door. No more of you. Out. Don't need you. I'm getting AI. Moai, E-State, AI, Federal Republic, Government of Aotea, New Zealand, Dutch found country. Not a fucking Japanese, German country. Okay, you can bugger off and go back home to Japan. Okay, they'll mint you up as sushi feed there with my mates, Kinnisota. <coughs> It's a, it's a tubby. <coughs> My mates over there coming here to the East Cape to put the sushi farms up and the fishing. <coughs> I went there to learn how to do it. Okay, you're here stealing, as a Japanese, stealing our country, stealing our DNA, our whakapapa. <coughs> you're gone as a Maori. You're not even a fucking Maori. You're gone as a Maori on a little bit of inchy bit of Maori blood in you. Well, that's a Maori. It's non-existent. It is a myth and mirage of lies and deception. That's all you are. I'm saying that flat out on this video, that you are on notice to pack up and go, otherwise you're going to get arrested and hung for life. Okay? Hung for life in this law. The High Court of Britain, UK, and you read it. I've got one page there that says the Law High Courts of New Zealand is subject to the British UK High Court rules. Now, that's what we're doing here against your High Court. It's got no law over us, the superior emperor's law of the Mortgage Liens and War Powers Act. That's what we're using on your head today, Cindy Kira, and your whole government, the whole of you, all of you, and all the corporates in New Zealand and the world, all of you. You're not native enough. Only native people get screened to make sure we don't have any bodgy humbug names in there. <coughs> yep, see? I know which ones are which in this country at least anyway. So, you're going to be screened out to make sure you're going to foot the bill on that side because you're following them over the bridge to Waitangi Marae and boot you off the land. That's what we're doing. You're going to get booted off the land because you have violated our contract between us and Andy Devine, the native of England, and all the rest of those natives there, Lee Can, and all the rest I know when I went there to set them all up. <coughs> and those ones I want to stay in and those ones that went against me can go and take a hike. Okay, so I know which ones there are there are loyal. That Haywood one can go and jump into the sea and go somewhere else. That's the one I stayed with. That turned on me, turned on me. Cumber Patch and the other fella, Bean, Simon Bean. He's the other one that turned on me. Look at your country. It's upside down because I knew where it was going in the rubbish heap. It's taken over by the EU Parliament and government and Germans have beaten the shit out of you lot. 
<coughs> because you got no brains to do real estate and native lands of England. Your native lands of England has been compromised and stolen the sovereignty of you. You deserve nothing, Cumberpatch. You deserve nothing, Simon Bean, because you were too ignorant, ignorant in the head, and lost it all, <coughs> because you didn't want to listen to me. And I was coming there to let you see we've got the sovereignty and the British crown hidden here in little old New Zealand on dry land with the flag and the British flag and the Confederation of United Tribes flag together on the ship mast, the ship of Britain, UK. Okay, Greg Cook is looking after that, him and his home guard, global, <coughs> uh, with <coughs> Michelle once again and uh, doing a terrific job now that they know where we're going with this, with all of this, and just grab it and go. Kick them off the land, Gregory. Kick them off. Don't listen to anybody that knows nothing. Jack shit about law. Okay, leave the law to me and Michelle. And if Rachel, we know, we tell her, who knows this far, as much as Michelle doing a lot of work in these years, 38 years, or so, but Rachel Wittana has been in the Confederation with Mohi Manukau and me and all the other ones, Gawitoni, in Ittrick Place in Mangare, that's where I used to go, to the meetings there, and I know which ones are loyal, and all the rest have disappeared. And Mohi said to me, come on, let's get out of here. We'll go up to Helensville and carry on there. That's what I did, Rachel. I went there because Mohi said, follow me. And he took me right into the Freemasons. And they are the ones that are the authors and owners of the legal transfer native title into British Crown owners. Okay, without that authority, you cannot take the land title by just trying to start from scratch. Now, it's too late because it's gone right through the world. That's a bigger picture of where the authority went from here. Once they bankrupted America on Mount Eden Hill in 1933, and Jean O'Dean came from America. She's the professor and um, <coughs> person that did uh, commentary with me on Mount Eden Hill and Mount uh, on, on One Tree Hill, that's the um, title of the real Kafaru from Raglan and Nairi, his father. Okay, so that's being stolen and compromised as well by Nada Davis and her Nati Fata O Kaipara, Ki Kaipara tribe, which belongs to you, Cindy Kiro, you traitor. That belongs to the government. Nāti Whātua o o Rake and Nāti Whātua Ki Kaipara. Those two bastard companies, Iwi Māori, belongs to you, thugs, pirates and vagabonds. Okay, because we're going to strip you with the real Kafaru and the real Moriori title of Manukau and Rogan judges. I'm taking John Rogan job as the authority of the Awaroa Magistrate Court Bank in Helensville on 20 Commercial Road. <coughs> there where the flag used to fly there, but the land is still there with Mohi Manukau's name on it. Okay, it's got a few other names, and there, it's got his name on it. And that's what I use, his name for the Manukau title, but the Rogans took the land and put Rogan's name on the land. That more he said, there's my land there, 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 there. And then Rogan got his name on it. See, use the Manukau, Moriori. Now we're going to spin it around the other way and dissolve all the Rogan's names, if we want to, then put it back where it was in the first place, and the native title. 
I might even leave the Roman name there because it married our family, the Wanos, at the East Cape too, in Hulueda. So the Rogans married our family, but they don't talk to us. They keep to themselves and shut their mouth. Okay? They don't say a word because they know the day of reckoning is here and we're going to spin the titles back to front in the right way. <clears throat> and the British will see there's no more Britain anymore because they're getting rid of that too. They're hiding their tracks because they got all the money and stole it. The Germans, Zionists, Illuminati in Frankfurt, Germany, the cheeky sods. <clears throat> have stolen the gold, stolen everyone's sovereignty, belongs to the ground, soil, land of England, Westminster Parliament, in there, on that bit of land. And we're going to use the title, the same as what we're doing here, at Waitangi Treaty Grounds, seize the bloody thing, because of the fraud. And I'll, I'll screen print it, the photos of the offences in a high court rule and stick it to them. You, especially Cindy Kira, this video is for you. We have had enough of you and your bullshit. All of it is bullshit. The whole whakapapa thing, the whole your whakapapa is bullshit in Nākehine. It is not true what you're saying because it's Māori in it. As long as it's Māori, it's fraud. Everything Māori I'm saying is a fraud. The Maori land title, the Maori, Maori tribunal, the Maori everything is a fraud because it's come out of a park house head. Okay, you professors like Sir Hugh Carfro and Margaret Mutu and Rarawa Kohere, all you people that have put the Iwi's title together is fraud. The whole title structure is a fraud because I'm proving to you and no one's opening their mouth and saying anything. If you say nothing, it's true. And we deem it law. Law makes the rules. Law makes contract. We've got a contract on your head, City Cura. 3,000 million trillion trillion pound notes. Right? That's heaps. Enough to sink the lot of you. All of you out of the planet. Okay, that's why those figures are so high, because you're a thug. I'm telling you, straight to your face, in front of everybody in New Zealand, has got the guts to say to you, you are a murderer, Sinecura, because you are promoting Nati Hene, Health Trust, the promoters of COVID-19 lethal injection in Whangarei office on our native land and you can take your fucking poisons and get the fucking hell out of this country. Go, otherwise you're going to get arrested, we're going to put the contract out to BRICS military. I'm going to ring them on Monday and tell them just what we need is some protection of our country from takeover, foreign government private corporation. You are the director of that private corporation, foreign government country, Cindy Kiro. I am putting you up to it and putting you on the spot. You're on the spot, you and me. Just you and me. Nobody else. Just you and me in this video. So I'm putting you up to it. Unless you do a video to show me your titles and your writ warrant on me and your lawyers, your best lawyers, Put your best anybody, Crown Sovereign, agents. Your agents don't come from Britain because you've got no more Britain. You've cut it off. <clears throat> you've cut off the British Union Jack flag. You've cut yourself right off. And that means you're sailing in thin air. And you are liable for everything that's going wrong in this country on our land while you're in front of me a judge, a prosecutor, and an executor. Okay, you've got an execution warrant on your head. 
right now, what I mean is law execution, <coughs> right? Law execution. <coughs> and it's got a hanging and change act too. If the people say hang, you hang. It's the people's court. What? Justice in this native people's court. <coughs> First time in the world. First one. It's starting off like this fashion on our blueprint, patent, and plan for all other native countries in the world as our own federal state E A. E-I-A-I, E-State, Federal Republic, flag, government. We've got a flag from a king and you've got nothing. You haven't got a flag but a made-up flag. It's got no meaning. Your flag is nothing. Where did it come from? Out of your fucking head. Japanese head. With an American up your ass, telling you what to do. Yep, yep, because America took over Japan and blew the whole bloody lot up. And now they want to blow everybody in the world up. That's how crazy, they are crazy like you. You are crazy to try and think you can break a contract, somebody else's contract, and it happens to be ours. You've come to the wrong court, right? This court is trying you today. I'm in a court session here today on this video as an affidavit to boot you off the land. <clears throat> That's what this video is for. Okay? I'll have to copy it in something else as well because it might get taken down. But it has meaning. It has factual evidence, facts cited evidence that you have never rebuted, refuted or rebutted Anything I've sent you, I'm sending you this again, but the matter is at an end because you haven't responded. Because of silence, we accept your silence. All this time you've been in a government general as an admission of guilt. You are tried today and before as guilty as charged. <coughs> and the big Power notes goes on your head with King Ernest Augustus V as our reigning monarch of Westminster Parliament. And we'll put him there when we boot Charlie the same way, take the land underneath Westminster, and he's out, out into the ocean, back where he came from, in the tide. Because he has no admiralty continuity of sovereignty to the Dutch king. None of you, none of you have nothing to go on, the continuity of sovereignty where the court of record is, 1689, that started the commerce, the banks, the Bank of England Act, 1694, and the two bar pound note patented, 1694. That's what we're using on your head, Cindy Kira, with a chip coin to offset the Bitcoin at a trillion pound just to start it off. And the pound note is worth 659.60.08 US dollars, a one single Moai pound note. Okay, it's, that's what its value is on your head and all your politicians' heads and every corporation in the world and including Eddie Mitchell. It's on his head too. A hundred million trillion trillion pound note. On his head. He shares the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. You share it too with Vanguard and, <coughs> and, and, and BlackRock and all the corporations, Bill Gates and his Microsoft and all those other um, corporations. Elon Musk and um, um, Tesla for burning cars and join you lot of corporations with stolen fiat money that he's made his wealth out of stolen fiat money 
from US fake money, thin air, and that's come out of a fake one bar unpatented pound note. Yeah? The Patterson wouldn't give you the pound note, two bar pound note, patented, and you went around it and made a one bar. You stupid fools. The Rothschilds married into Queen Victoria, and away they went. They kicked Ernest Augustus V, the first out, the brother, to King George IV and King William IV, the third brother, supposed to be the reigning monarch, and you legislated him out of Westminster Parliament and put Victoria, little girl, in there. Right? No monarch or admiralty to the wealth of the king's emperors made all the laws and the commerce and the banks and the notes and all the land laws, the transfer of lands, and you stole that by default. Okay, we're billing you right back, right back to 1689. That's where we get our figure from and the OPPT figure that was put together, TPPA, and all the figures of the then uh, secretary for the World Bank, Karen Hudes. That's where I got all my figures from, her. She knows where all the gold's hidden, and I added it all up. And that's not far off the mark. 970 million trillion trillion pound note is what your bill is, Sinekira. You're going to have to share that on top of that, your own debt. You've got debt on your hands and debt on the country. You are running a scam criminal organization here and we don't want it anymore. The majority of people here have had enough of your bullshit and your humbug laws, right? Pretend government. That's all you are, temporary. Change your underpants every three years and put in another government. You're out of government now. We're moving in because there's no government there now. You've gone out, right? You're out. You're out. We're taking advantage of no government in place and no governor general. Only the Justice Minister, and that's where uh, Michelle Coco comes in, because she's the Chief Justice to take over the Chief Justice job and your job, Cindy Kira, you're booted. She's going to boot you off the treaty grounds, off the Parliament House grounds underneath there, and off everywhere around the country where you've got your little flag going up and celebrating your non-victory. We're celebrating our long-term plan victory of booting you out. We have every reason to boot you out because we've got the evidence in this book. I'm just going to skip through it in a minute and explain it to the people watching this video. And it's not viral. It will go viral one day when you get booted out. Then it'll kick in. Then they'll wake up and see the roses. Okay? So I'm just going to start off here with um, the first page. And I'll just put the mic somewhere. I'll put it around my neck. Like this. I'll just put it here. Like this. I hope you can hear it. And I'm just going to explain the book. Fiction needed too low FPS on the Monday. I'll just carry on. So, uh, this is the 48 page writ warrant, writ of execution, control, and arrest warrant. It's got a few other things in it as well, and possession, and uh, um, take over of our country from you, pirates. You're pirates, all of you, pirates on the high sea. You're operating in the ocean, dead at sea. We're on the dry land because you're only temporary in a building. And you sell the buildings because when it's like the City of London sold the land in the City of London Corporation and turned it into real estate. We're going after that as well. All that real estate there will be seized back to Andy and his natives of England soil land because you bunch of thugs are real estate people 
like Eddie Mitchell, are following the same fraud pattern of stealing and paying no tax. You're going to pay one shot on your heads and seize all your property, Eddie Mitchell. We're going to seize all your property because there'll be plenty of people to do that. I know where it is in New South Wales, in Queensland. I know because I did the search. You put me through a lot of trouble looking for answers of your fraud little hands, little greedy little hands, and thieving little hands, and the people you're working with. You and your two pakehas, you're going to get stung badly. We'll find you. We'll find you. Because there's enough people who know now. I'm going to put your photo in here, Eddie. Right for the governor to see, and right for everybody to see, exposed. <coughs> so you can't get away. You can't get away with this, the biggest fraud gangster in the world. You've been in gangs before, that's why you got your lips banged up, your face banged up, because you've been involved with gangs. And when the gangs see this, they're going to say, why did you do that to me? Why did you do it to me, Eddie? Why have you got so much money, so much property, and I've got nothing? You knew I had nothing, and you made me pay cash to stay in your father's house <coughs> for Elizabeth Street in <coughs> Bears Court, Hamilton, and I stayed there and paid you cash and went to your meetings in, in Chartwell and, and with, with your mates there, and sat on right down the other end of the restaurant owned by Chinese and your mates were right down the other end and put me right down the other end so I can't hear you. I can see you. I can hear what you fellows have been saying because I can feel it. The Maui tells me, right? The Maui up there is watching you perform badly in front of me. <coughs> You're not going to get away with it, Eddie Mitchell. You and Cindy Kiro. The same breed. The government is the same breed of thieving real estate people. Okay? You're going to lose everything you've got because you get tried in the court like this. It's no different to the High Court of Britain, UK. How you got on these lands in the first place. And it says there, the law of New Zealand High Courts is subject to the British High Court rules. Okay? So that's what I'm going. I'm using the High Court of Britain rules and laws and that's our top end of anything over your head. <coughs> Alright? So this is, I've said this before, but there's Rogan there. <coughs> John Rogan, judge, there. That's him there with the beard. And his Freemasons office in Helensville, that's where I went to drop Mohi Manukau off and I'm taking his job because <coughs> Mohi was told to shut his mouth and not utter a word in how the Freemasons work until I came along and he told me and I told the whole world. So there you are Cindy Kira, right there with that pound note with the two chiefs that went to England, Cambridge, England, from Cambridge in Arapuni in Hamilton, went there to learn English and Hongi Heka went there to get the muskets but Tira Waikato Wharehirehiri Manukau went there to learn real estate, banking and mortgages. Okay, so I'm taking his title with Mohi Manukau and signed over to me to keep that legacy going in this pound note. Okay, the Patterson pound note is now the Maui pound note and the Maui crown King William IV Trust. Okay, so I hope you can hear me because I've got the microphone down beside me and um, <coughs> I'll try and be as loud as I can. So there's the thieves there, Biden and Netanyahu from Israel, the murderers. You're one of them, um, Cindy Kira, with the same ilk as making this country New Zealand, the same as Israel stolen Palestine country by using these admiralty laws of King William III. Okay, so there you, you are, 
with this German swastika here and the Zionists from Frankfurt, Germany and Kate Frost and her mob from there that's doing all these things to all the native countries in the world that they have gone and stolen them and fleeced them of the gold <coughs> and the land and the children and everything evil gonna strip from you Kate Frost the whole bloody lot and there's the eight point star on this little Japanese thug and she's not Irish either. She's wearing it to pick the rent up off the land and that's our business. She's tampering with our contract to pick the lease up here and to pick the lease of all 256 countries in the world where the Crown has gone and taken it over, taken their native countries over and pick up the royalties for the franchise High Court rules here and law, okay? We're going to pick all that tab up for the whole 256 countries. Michelle, that's our job, me and you. Me and you, that's it. Nobody else can do this job, just me and you, because you've got the guts to do it, and you've got the international backing as well. So there, you've got the Supreme Court, you've got everything going, and not tied up with anybody else. <clears throat> You're not Napui, you are Te Arawa and Hawaii. Okay, so that's Mohi went along with Te Arawa because I know how that works. Right through the Manukau Harbour and Arawa was with the Manukau Moriori's. All the way through. <clears throat> I know that. I've got it written all up. So there, that's that page. And then we've got this book here is the writ of execution, possession and demolition, arrest, warrant, order of the court. Okay, so I'm just stressing that today. And it's going through the 47 pages plus one more X1 of signatures makes 48 pages in here, plus the other pages are put together of... I'm, I'm gonna, I've got a screen print out for Michelle to take up to Napui to tell Napui it's too late to try and round everybody up to support them because the time has ended. The matter is at an end in this court. It's been going long enough. I've had court hearings up there and nobody took notice. Only Bundy and Bundy Waitai and... Um, 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 Selwyn Clark or Hedewini Kraka, only those two and Manahi Mohini. He signed his JP signature and stamp and certified as true. He's a JP that has certified all the documents are done as true and correct and to the satisfaction of the King's Bench Native Magistrate Court. And that was held on Titi Marae and also in the Waitangi Marae. That's where Willie Pater went in there with us and uh, with Kingi Taurua. Kingi Taurua signed the documents to certify as correct to return stolen land. And he's not here to see his land returned by these proclamations and deeds. There's deeds in here of Rea Manukau, deed. 1862 is in here as 11th of November 1862, the Native Land Act of New Zealand country is in here. And Rea Rea Manukau, his name is on the title from east to west, coast of New Zealand. One man with the title the British took that title as all of Auckland and Cook Street. You didn't listen to me, you owners on there, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown. You're going to lose that land because we're coming after it with the um, global home garden. Okay, this time they went in, they did a good job the first time, the second time. John Munger and his Hawaiians did a good job going there but it didn't work because the police took over and 
put us out. The same with Gregory Cook. The police interfered, tampered with our contract because I'm a native land investigator. They interfered and tampered with my contract. And so for that, they get trillion pound on their heads too. All those policemen and 43 people that stopped me and put their names as witnesses to lock me up forever. And it backfired. I'm using that and my shirt that came back with the capital letters on it, John Hawani Wanoa in capitals, from the police. So they get the bill for stealing my shirt off my back and taking it as evidence against me. I'm using that shirt to sting the whole lot of you and bankrupt the whole lot of you. Every one of you policemen, 15,000 of you, get a trillion pound on your head each. I'll rack the bill up against the British banks and all your money places. America, bankrupt you too with these thugs over here. It's the same as you thugs over there that are ruining the whole world and shooting the blazes out of them. Eh? Stealing countries and Putin will put an end to that because he's got the contract to recover all the money and gold stolen. All your money and gold stolen and taken into Germany. Well, there's going to be some sort of war to try and get out of it. You can't get out of these documents. This is better than war because it got you on the land in the first place. The court of record and mortgage lands is this. We put a mortgage land on all of you and you, Shinikira, 3,000 million, trillion, trillion. I say that easily because that's what I'm worth doing this job is to recover the debts from you thugs. You're the biggest thug here at the moment, the latest thug in acting badly. Yes, the Confederation of the United Tribes flag here. There, okay. That's on page seven, page eight, I think, I can't see properly. But anyway, that's that. And as you go through the book, you can get it online because I'm going to put it online and you can download it and have it in colour. It'll probably cost you 60 bucks for a colour of this and $500 for colour of this. The colours are um, $2 a page. The black and white is, this is black and white, is a um, dollar a page. <clears throat> and um, so that one there was worth 80 bucks, black and white. 448 pages, native title. And this one here, I don't know how many pages, about 60 pages of black and white was 18 bucks for this one. And I'll put it online so you can download it and read it and use it for your evidence against Cindy Kira and her corporate fagri government. It's caught in the fraud. That's what we had to do. We had to catch them doing the fraud, committing the fraud, and we've caught them right in the middle of it, right when she's gone out of Parliament till 7th of July, when the Parliament opens up again. It's shut at the moment. Okay, so there. Masonic Lodge. Now, that's my authority of these documents. All the documents I've got are Freemasons instruments. Legal title instruments. So you can't do any of this. You can't use any of this because they are got seals on it. And if you copy it, you're in trouble because you haven't strung it all together to make it work. If you're seen trying to practice this authority, then you'll get sued the buggery with this power note on your head. Okay, so everybody here in New Zealand is on Cindy's side at the moment. You're not native and not registered in this native court yet. Okay, there's only me, Ravadaka, and Pare Rivers are native certified. The other people that signed the registrar here. There's some already signed already. Where is it? Here. This one. 
Okay, this one got signed, and there's some names in it, but they are claimants. They are claimants, but can be equal to being a native, um, is a born person on the land, and they are claimants because they put their bother to put their name down, and they are counted in as a claimant of all the money we are claiming back in the trillions. Okay, so there's names of those people who are loyal, and I know their names are there, and I'll take a screenshot of it and put it up as well, and so that can enter in on the record. Those names there are put there because they were there at the time I made the decision. Okay? That's what with, with the Home Guards. So the Home Guards are well on their way now. They are in tune with um, um, Michelle Coco and all the Hapus in the Bear Plenty down Te Tairawhiti, where I come from, East Coast, and Hawke's Bay and Naitau and a fair measure of all, all the hapus all the way down the country and I don't think Napui is in that lot yet, not yet, but that's her command under that flag, the corporation side of the flag, not the Whakaputanga side, the corporation side of Britain, native. Britain put the native title together and not the Whakaputanga with the New Zealand Crown Government and Australia and New South Wales, where the pirates come from. Okay, this country is run by criminal, uh, criminal convicts from Australia and their Maoris. Yeah, Maoris, word, the word Maori is an invention of those Pakehas in Wellington. Okay, they dreamed it up because that's what they can do, sell Maori land and make them jump up and down. And that's why you can't get anywhere married, switch over to the native when you're good and ready, and then you'll be out of the rat race there. Okay, so that's how that works. So that's Cindy, you, on that page two, three, page three. And I'll just go through on the next page. That's the writ, that's the beginning of the writ. And then you could have the Confederation flag beside me and the real estate ticket I've got to have the authority to do real estate and mortgage broking. I'm a mortgage broker with the National Bank, if anybody wants to look, and Clive Merritt in the early days of doing home improvements with Galaxy Garages and homes in Penrose and also Shadow Limousines, the stretch limousine company I ran at that time on the bank as well. And the loans I've got for the mortgage broking, I approved the loans without going to the bank. The bank manager let me approve the loan for home improvement because they knew I'm not going to crook the people. Okay, so that's that. And I got a good name in the mortgage broking industry and the limousine stretch limousine business. I made my own, built my own stretch limousine 12 seater, the longer than the Lincoln at the time. It was very popular and I had um, fabricators to put it together with me. <coughs> um, there's my Imanaka there. That's my authority from him, the Freemason for 50 years and where he comes from, or where he came from, the Manukau Marae and reservation on his Chatham Islands or Lekohu to here. Okay, so there's some photos there of the screenshots of the names there, Waikato there, Waikato there to Waikato here. Waikato Bay there, no Waikato Bay here. See, so there, you've got a Waikato River but not a Waikato Bay and so on. There's some other ones there too. So his Waka was the Orupuke Waka of the Moriori. The Moriori's waka and those people of Solomons wouldn't know that. They would not know that because that was none of their business. They were married into the Moriori's and not the bloodline male. They were on the female side which does not make them the paramount chief or king equal is a 
equal to a paramount chief. The ariki is not anything to do with paramount chiefs, kings, or corporations. That ariki is a Pacific title of their system, but it still comes under the Westminster Parliament's laws, High Court laws. Okay, so there, you're still caught up in the franchise of Britain, UK, the UK. And those mongrels there in Westminster Parliament and the EU Parliament is winding down Westminster, but we're keeping it going with Ernest Augustus V, the reigning monarch, the, to King Ernest Augustus I, the brother of King George IV and King William IV and their father, King George III. Okay, so there, there you are, Sidney Kira, there, right there. Where's my thing gone? Where's my camera gone? What's going on? Oh, there, there it is. So, so there you are, uh, Sidney Kira, there you are, with the crown on your head and your flag there, as a offence. You are an offence and a threat of a foreign flag. Your flag is not the flag of this country, New Zealand. It's our Dutch flag and the British flag. You put them out and put yours on our ship mast. That is a British ship mast, not a flippin' Japanese, German ship mast. It is a English ship mast from Westminster, okay? You had no right to interfere with our contract. For that, you're getting booted off the land, and the land of Waitangi, Marae, 502 hectares, and your government house in Ipsum, and your government and the, the beehive, the land underneath it, were taking the whole bloody lot off you and boot you out into the sea with your foreign flag up there on the pole. There it is, stuck there. That's our evidence. We've caught you stealing our country. It's not yours. And there's your threat there with your big lineup of those fellows there who are in this book with the trillion pounds on their head. Okay, there's Paul Goldsmith at the top. He's the one that changed the flag ownership of New Zealand, the flag of New Zealand, and revoked the Union Jack flag that's been there for years and stuck your little flag up there on our ship mast is an offence and a threat of doing that on our land. No, we're going to take your flag and throw it away. We're going to throw you away with it. And there's Ben Dalton underneath Paul, and he's the one that's the killer, um, killer of, 90, of um, 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 of the treaty, Waitangi Treaty National, Waitangi National Trust. He is the, the enemy, the black line of Satan, stealing our flag and giving it to you, Cindy Kiro, and giving the mana of this country away. That Ngāpui has done us this service, um, uh, Michelle, you should know that, that it's him that's the problem. All these years, and Peter Peroni before him, he was the one that kept things going that way for the crown, not in Wellington. The crown in Wellington is no crown at all. It was nothing in the first place. The Treaty of Waitangi is a fraud because it's got no end date on it as a full-blown contract. It's just principles of a treaty. It's not a contract. It's not a contract. It's just an agreement that was broken and you broke our King's law and broke the Queen's law and you got defaulted because of that flag um, offence and these killer vaccines here that America, this is America, is the terrorist and the killer. You are with them promoting this, all this rubbish, killing uh, patents and 
age and all that is there beside you and these lot of thugs here on this side. Okay? Ben Dalton and he's the CEO of Waitangi National Trust Corporation. That's that's the British have hidden their contract with us there with the New Zealand Crown. The New Zealand Crown has to pay the British Crown in order <coughs> to get the satisfaction of the Queen. Not the King, the Queen. It's always been the Queen all the way and you've got your bloody Queen still in the courthouse and we've got the Kings over the top of your fucking Queen and your Maori chief in the, in the courts and and uh, government houses and all that, all those schools and everything, where the government goes and you are offensive with uh, hypocrisy, hy hypocrite. You're a hypocrite, Cindy Kira, having the flag flying when you have revoked it. What the fuck is that all about, Cindy Kira? Why are you flying a Union Jack flag, fooling everybody, and it's you've revoked it? You've, You've taken it away as the crown of the, as the flag of New Zealand. Where's your little flag flying? Right? You only put it up when you want to and leave that one to fool everybody. Well, they're not fooled. I'm telling the people of New Zealand and the world on this video that you are a jackass humbug. You are fooling with our flags, the British flag and our contract with our Confederation of United Tribes flag. And out you go. You're going to go and boot it out. You're going to get booted off the land. And the police can't do nothing about it because they did wrong to me on Cook Street. And so we're taking that too. We're taking Cook Street and lock those two fellows up. James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Brown Street. And lock Eddie, up, Eddie Mitchell up with them too. And all his family lose all those million dollar properties because they are all from stolen. Queen's Crown jurisdiction, okay? It's fraud fiat money and fraud New Zealand dollar out of it and fraud US dollar and fraud pound note. All fraud. Okay? So, there, yeah, that's that. There's Mohi Monaco right there with us and our home guard. So, that's my own home guard and Rafta's home guard down the east coast. There's plenty of home guards around. So I'm just saying I've got some information there. There's Pare Rivers there and me and Ravdaka there. So we are the three that are running the Maui Crown East State AI Federal Republic Government of Altair New Zealand Dutch found country over this German Japanese Maori humbug government in Wellington. Out they go. This is more than I can say about us treating them the way they treated us and reverse. So dear, we've got some more here with these fellows here in this promoting this jab to kill us and change our DNA. There's already proof that the DNA has, has changed. The Injection changes your DNA, and these people with their photo in it have got the Confederation flag here, the original one, up against them. This authority of at that time, King William IV, here in New Zealand, that's when he was there with Kafiru the Giant of Waikato, not a Kafiru in Kaipara, but the real one, the big giant in Raglan. Okay, so there, that's that Kafiru and that. Mohi Manukau and the Manukau's, left left Manukau and Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau was around the same time as King William IV and King George IV. Okay, so there, that's tied that up. And these two thugs here are the ones administering the injection and promoting it in Whangarei office. The Ngāti Hine Health Trust corporation. Okay, they are the ones promoting the jabs for the rest of the world to exterminate the human race. And there you are, Cindy Kerr, right there again, 
I'm putting all this up online soon with Eddie Mitchell and you right in front of everybody because you're thieves. You are thieves, vagabonds, and everything I'm saying about you. And there I am as real estate to take all the real estate off the thugs who have stolen the money and all those million years and billion years that have gone and got bunkers and everything down in South Island and they're going to lose all their life too with this King William the Third Royal Standard flag on dry land in Westminster. That one there with the eight point star and with the Irish um, Irish harp, the Irish harp. Okay, so that's where the money's hidden. All those corporations are hiding their companies there and may, may, paying only 12% tax or less or nothing. So there, yeah, COVID-19 vaccination centre in Whangarei. There, that you're stuck with this, Cindy. We're, we're libeling you today and libeled you already for COVID. You are a COVID murderer, Cindy Kiro, and I'm libeling you today in this court. I'm running a court right here by myself with an audience. And this Harari there, this mongrel here with Klaus Schwab, that says humans are hackable. They're hacking humans. And there's Charlie there with this mongrel here, that this mongrel here, you all know him. Oh, okay, I won't say his name because I've forgotten. There's Klaus Schwab there. He's retired. He's run off. He's run off. Did the damage, 50 years of damage on people and taking their countries over and jabbing them. He's run off now because he don't want to get caught. No, you get caught now while you were doing the fraud and after you've gone. You've, you've still got a contract on your head and the BRICS military will come after you. Will come after all of you. And there's Jay Moringa there. He's the big thief and the big health, not in a health trust to open whanau-centric COVID-19 vaccine centre to come and die. Right? That's him there. That's him there running the scam. Scam. And the flag is on your head there. The Confederation of United Tribes is trying you already in Te Marae in Epsom, Auckland, and here in, in this court too. I'm here, but not by myself. I've got my two watching over me. That's Robert Takao and Pare Rivers are with me all the time. Nati Hane, Health Trust CEO, Jeff Milner, says the Taranga Tauranga COVID-19 vaccination centre will welcome and support priority groups who are at risk. They're already at risk. Going there, you stupid bastards. Particularly Kuya and Komato and Defano within a Kopapa Maori environment. They're going there to die, you bastards. That's all I can say about you, Cindy. Bastards. You know what they do with bastards? Lock them up and chuck them back in the sea for the sharks to eat. There's Paul Goldsmith, the biggest thug of all, that got rid of your Maori battalion flag, the Union Jack 1902. He just threw it in the sea, threw it in the rubbish, and John Key spent $38 million dollars to change the flag and this bastard just changed it like that at the whim and just changed a few words in a gazette and this mongrel white collar criminal changed the flag and put this dirty little Japanese flag up. Right, Cindy Kira, you are a dirty bastard. That's your flag there. We're going to boot you out of this country because you've offended us. The chiefs have been going up to Waitangi all these flipping years and you've come along and defaced our title contract. For that, you're going to get strung up and with the hanging chain act on your head from this court. Okay, if anybody wants to do that job, it's 
their job to go and put you with these laws. Make you pay. You're going to pay the trillions for damaging the people's lives. You're the one scam right in it. You are in Nazi Hine, right here with this flag and that vaccination centre in Whangarei. You are there. You can't run away from this. You've got these pound notes on your head. There, right there, on top of your stupid little fucking flag. Take your flag and bugger off. Because you can take that flag back to Japan. And these are the days you're going to fly. Yeah. Poor, poor Goldsmith, <coughs> you're going to get a hanging change act too. For violating our contract flag. The Confederation Chief's flag that got you on these fucking lands in the first place. It's going to get you off the fucking land too. Because we say so. Okay, the United Tribes Chiefs Hapu says so. It goes. It goes when we have a meeting soon, next week, with Michelle. When they say go, go. You go. Out you go. And with the bill on your head first. Okay? No more of you and your dirty poisons. No more spraying the skies. No more genetics. No more poisoning water. No, all that stuff will stop. Because the Home Guard will be getting bigger and bigger. They'll recruit more and more people to go and knock the doors to find all those millionaires and billionaires hiding their stolen money away and we'll see each other. Plenty go around. We don't have to try hard to get a job. We've got a job already. Rounding you a whole lot up. And then I am back of the real estate. Right there in Remur and Ipsum with New Zealand First, New Zealand um, Realties and Harvey's Real Estate. I was in both companies. And there's our flag there. The four corners of the earth is still a contract to last forever. It's extant forevermore in statute law in Westminster Parliament. That's where that flag came from, from the king to us. And no one can go near it. Not even Napoli with a whakaputanga. It's not a British given flag. Okay? It's not a British corporation flag. The whakaputanga is not a corporation flag, Rachel. But Michelle has got the corporation flag of the United Tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand. Not the old confederation. This is a new confederation. The old one can't pick this up because they can't be Freemasons. You don't have the title to the Freemasons documents. All your documents are got an author. Who's your author? And you can't start without something like this. Okay? So there, there's our British flag there. And the King William III of Orange, his royal standard flag on dry land there. And our flag here and our native court here with Selwyn Clark or Hiriwini Clarka and Bundy Waitai and Manahi Mohini right here with me, with this Confederation of Chiefs flag, not a Whakaputanga flag. That's you up in Ngāpui have a Whakaputanga flag to the New Zealand government here and New South Wales, Australia. Different set of rules and different jurisdictions. You can't go into this jurisdiction without the Freemasons. Sorry, that's how it works. <coughs> People need to go to school to learn and it's not about marriage either. So you've got marriage in your your documents, Rachel. That doesn't count in here. There's no Maori in here. It's only native. You can't talk Maori in here. It's got no jurisdiction in here. So Michelle is taking the jurisdiction of the native here with my direction as well. She is the Chief Justice to take the Chief Justice Officer out in the New Zealand Crown Corporate Private Company Fraud Corrupted Government and boot them off the land in there in the Parliament underneath the land underneath goes to our court system and ownership. We are the landlords, not those thugs 
in the parliament that are making it all up. There's the legisla legislation of UK government, UK government, right here, right? And I'll try and find the bit that it says. The liability on respect of torts com com committed by the servants or agents. Crown and its officers then subject to the provisions of this Act. The Crown shall, in respect of the failure to comply with that duty, is subject to all those liabilities of tort, if any, to which it would be so subject if, I w if it were a private person of full age and capacity. Where does it say UK? It's, it's got it in there. It's got it in there somewhere. I, 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 it's, it's subject to the British UK law. Crown Proceedings Act. Subject to British UK law. So there, that's all in there on page... 38, 38, and there's the Act of the Pound Note Act, 1833, of King William IV, and the Bank of England Act, 1833. We're going to take over the Bank of England because the British Crown has buggered off to EU. And we're on our own there as the second party, and now we're the first party, and the British natives are the second party. So Andy Devine and Lee Kent and Sue Young and a few others there and uh, um, David um, Ellis and uh, a few others I know, I've forgotten now. And they are the second party to us, the first party with the King's Corporation flag, the legal authority. See? And here's where the offence is, where it says, 1820, it says the United Hapu of Te Whakameninga and Waikato, a younger chief also known as Taipuru, was the General Secretary of the United Hapu of Te Whakameninga. There was no Whakameninga or no marriage in 1820. They wrote it up like this, Cindy Kira. It was written by you thugs professors put this together as if Mary and the Whakameninga was there in 1820. There was no such thing as Mary at that time. And Waikato is mixed up. Where is Tira Waikato here? There's no Tira Waikato mentioned here, just Waikato. Nothing, nothing. Absolutely vague and oblivious. It's ambiguous. So dear, I'm just saying, it's all a scam. Crown was forced to focus at Te Rafiti, on the East Coast. And so, I'm just getting through to the end. And you'll see it online, tonight and tomorrow. I'll put it up online, so that you can see what I've done here with this book. And I'll wait for... Uh, Michelle to send me her documents and I'll put that in there for her because she's going to take this country back because of all the fraud we've caught. you all in the fraud with Eddie Mitchell. You're in the fraud with Eddie Mitchell, the biggest thug pirate of all pirates from Australia, New South Wales, and your jurisdiction there that is the catalyst for all corporations fraud of Queen Victoria and Charlie and William. You're on that monarch that has no admiralty to make money. We're going to use our kings to make money out of you lot, cash you in and liquidate you out of business. The whole bloody lot of you, right through the world.
the natives will get their land back. And there's the deed right there. Here is the deed of Lefa Lefa Manukau, the native land title of Auckland, New Zealand. Okay, this is the native court of New Zealand, 1862. The native court came out of Lefa Lefa Manukau, 1862. Native Land Act is right here. The deed to Auckland and the rest of the country because Lefa Lefa Manukau has the same as Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau. I've got enough information that is in the Freemasons office in Edinburgh, Scotland already. I just need to get to ring them up to certify that the title has been tampered with by Eddie Mitchell and his two people from here, Pākehā from here, that have gone and stolen it. And for that, they're going to be hung with the Hanging Chains Act, if the people say so. Hang the bastards, because they have committed the biggest crime of the year, of the century, in commercial contracts, real estate, and gone and run off with the money. Okay, that I put together 50 years of this search and to put that together with Moi Manukau and a few other chiefs. So there's the Charlie, the monster of them all, and next to Klaus Schwab, and the other Bill Gates and all the monsters are in here that are raking the goodness of King William III Dutchman's laws of money. Money making machine is these documents. They don't have the authority anymore because we're taking over the whole lot of their businesses for treason. Here's what it says. Treason and treachery. Right there. Right? And this pound note here at the top of their heads. King Ernest Augustus, he's still alive in England, 69 years old, thereabouts, up here, there. He's got his eight-point star on him of picking up the rent in the world. A lease, head lease, we've got the head lease, Tera Waikato Wharehere in Monaco in King George IV, head lease. And there's his pound note, 970 million trillion trillion pound note to his credit in Westminster Parliament. They're all set up to go and put on your head, Cindy Kira, and all your thugs here gets to share that bill and every corporate in the world, that means everyone living in the world, over 8 billion people have got that on their heads and they have to pay it. All of you got to pay it. And there's your Maori chief, just Aborigine, Tamaiti, Abo that talks double Dutch Maori, that one can't talk Maori properly because he's got an Australian kangaroo in his voice and it don't sound proper. And he's leading all the Maoris across the bridge at Waitangi in front of the Pakias and took them for a ride. Okay, he comes from where Pare comes from and she's not very happy about that because it don't look good with him going there for Maoris. He's not my chief. He never was my chief. And I don't like carving on people that deface their figure and is aggression. I don't like him because the Maori doesn't have carving on his face. That's why I don't have carving. That's my own opinion. But he is the image of Maori. That's it there. That's it. If you like it, good. If you don't, well, you've got a problem. You've got a problem because they're going to lead this country down the bloody gurgler with the Pakias leading this bunch of Maoris that is like him, following the leader, the Pakiha and the Japanese. Chindi Kira, 
following Cindy Kido to their death, eh? they would have taken the jab. And there they are there, the, the line-up, the, the, the King to Haitia and Papa, Papa, what's his name, in Pohara Marae, he's there too, okay? He's there too. He's, he, he, he's part of the scam. All these, and, and Chris Luxton is there too. The Prime Minister is there, and Ben Dalton, and the um, um, Navy officer, he's there too. So that's him there too. And their names are there with the numbers beside them as the trillion pounds is on their head. The 970 million trillion trillion pound note is on their head. And Winston Peters is there too. And this, this um, Papa, Papa, what's his name, um, at uh, Pohara Marae. That's not the right name of the Marae. It's Punga Punga Marae of Moriori Manukau. Tira Waikato's Marae going to take it off Tainui and boot them off the Mangatauri Mountain because I know all about that. I've got all the titles for there from Mohi Manukau. Okay, I got that all to put them out of business. Chuck them in the sea. And there's our signatures there. That's on the 48 pages book at the end of 48 pages. That's number 48 page. And this is number 47 page, the last one here, with all these thugs and pirates there, with Sandy Kiro. Okay, so there they are. There's, there's Tamaiti with no carving on his face in a protest march in 1972 or something. And there he is as, as a chief of Maori. He was a protester turned into the leader of all Maoris in this country, is dumb. That's a dumb idea that the Crown in Wellington believes him as being the Maori. And he can't be Tahitian. He's not Tahitian. He's not Tahitian in this syndicate, right in the middle of the scam. Criminal organization. This is a criminal organization, people. That's what I'm telling you today. And that's this book. See, so here we go. This page here is a two-page of um, the um, videos I'm going to put on a stick, like this one. I'm going to put these on here because they're in the document and the stick goes with them to show the Facebook um, videos that I made of the Hui at uh, Te Waka Marae in Epsom, and Michelle requested Gregory Cook, home guard, to be in attendance at the Hui to observe the proceedings. He was there, um, uh, Gregory Cook, and so he takes up his place um, with the uh, organization of our security. And uh, But I've got um, um, Kiritiana Weipeana from um, Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni, that's Pohara Marae, I'm going to kick that name out, and she's there for the Waikato chief, Te Waikato, to put his name back on the land and put our old history back together with my father-in-law, put his house back where it was beside the rock I wanted back there. That's my house that I always went to and talked with Peter Mihinui, my father-in-law, about that rock and its significance to Tera Waikato Whareheres in Monaco. Nobody knew that, only me. I knew a lot of history about that rock and the Monaco land. So there's our court there in Ibsen and also the Crown and Anchor flag of mortgage and our flag. It's nice in colour. If you get it in colour, this book will cost about 60 bucks. And black and white is 18 bucks. And this other page here, another one behind it, is a bit more that I put notes to Cindy Kira, supposed to have been handed to someone at the forum in uh, um, in um, um, Hastings yesterday at um, Umapu, uh, uh, Umapu Marae, um, and um, somebody didn't pick the books up. So, yeah, it missed going there, never mind, it's um, Michelle's sorting that lot out. So there, that's that book, 
And that's all I wanted to say, other than this book here, the Native Magistrate King's Bench Court Land Title, Native Land Title Deeds in here, the ownership of this country under the Manukau Moriori Rogan title on a 10-acre block in Kaipara at the 20 commercial road in Helensville where the establishment was set up with Mohi Manukau in 1985 before the 1986 constitution came along. The New Zealand Crown government put that together and Mohi Manukau was trying to get it off the land and now they've thrown it in the sea and trying to find a new constitution won't work when we've got a 1835 King William IV flag constitution 1835 go and look it up you silly lot of fools useless bastards go and look up 1835 constitution of King William IV 1835 and it's right there and look up the 1852 Constitution of Britain gave to the native United Tribes chiefs to use that native court law act from Britain and that's what we're using. The 1852 Constitution Act, the 1835 Constitution Act and also the 1816-89 King William III Constitution Act of Britain, Westminster, UK. Okay, so that one took at least 10 years to put that together as ab about 294 pages of that Constitution and I've broken it down smaller into a one-page Constitution, 1689 Constitution on a one-page document. So it's there. And I've made a new 1835 constitution and cut out all the acts that this government in Wellington changed it to suit themselves. So I changed it back to what I think is the right words. I picked the words out and put them in bold and it's there. The 1835 Constitution Act as it was before they tampered with it here in New Zealand Crown Government of New South Wales, Australia. So there we are, people. That's all I can say about that. And I hope you get something out of this and wind this whole government up and throw them out. Throw them out. Give us a hand to throw them out because you're not going to get anything anymore from them. They are under the illusion that you will own nothing and be happy. Well, we're saying... You're going to own everything in our system and be much happier than that mob of gangsters that are running rampant like Eddie Mitchell, running away with that 17 trillion plus. There's more than that, and he's probably gone and spent it in Queensland on real estate we're going after them. All that lot too, because I'm already talking to lawyers there and waiting for the answer back. Okay? So I'm going after it because he stole the bloody thing. It didn't come out of his bloody Mitchell brain. His Mitchell brain is useless. It is a thug pirate convict from New South Wales, Australia, and boot them all out back there. Chuck them out. We're going to take all those properties, Greg. We're going to take all those properties off them and put them back in our native court and change the titles. I've got it all set up to change over because that's my profession, real estate and bank brokering. Real estate and Remora, Auckland, and the city, and also bank brokering, National Bank, Clyde Merritt, in the early days of 1970, thereabouts, and uh, I went along and did the loans myself, approved them without going to the bank and taking the owners there. I just told them, you got your loan, and that was it. The bank took my word for it, and we're going back to that situation again. I'm going back to do exactly the same thing, only time Bailey's real estate will lose their whole business because they 
didn't take me seriously that I would take their business if they sold Cook Street, and they sold it. I gave them a book like this one, a book like this one, that I just showed you, and they just didn't take notice of it. And I say, right, because you, uh, it was about this thick. It was just a bit thinner than this one. It had similar things in that book addressed to them, that if they sold the land, I would come and seize their property, the whole thing. And the same with White's real estate um, um, that sold the, the motel in, uh, in, uh, um, down, down in Lotton Point. Okay? White, White, Ray White's real estate. They sold that motel when I said, you're not to sell this property because they have not got an original native title because Woods owned it before and they never got a title of anywhere from Britain or New Zealand. They just went on the land and the government gave them a title because that's fraud. They're right there and that's a grave site right on top of where the motel is, right on top of grave, grave site of Ketana um, um, Wanoa. Uh, okay, so there, that's my ancestor, right right there, and uh, I want it back. I want all the stolen land down there back. That includes the land in, in um, 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 over in Ruatoria, um, down Awapuni, our, our, our um, down on the land blocks down there, and also Haho block where the waka was, and they're taking the waka away now. See, now to throw, they're, they're going to get the bill for all the flooding and all the trees gone and fell over and pulled the hill down and covered the whole sea, 75 metres gone in the sea because of Ngati Pro. Okay, they shut our Ngati Pro butter factory down. It was going good. The cooperative dairy company shut it down. The government and Ngati Pro, Iwi, Runanga, and also all the other EVs around the country meeting down at, at um, um, Ngāti Kahunungu yesterday to try and bolster themselves. I'm not going to smash you with these documents and smash you right off the land because you have no title. How the hell can you keep bluffing people with whakapapa that's crooked? Because Rapata went there yesterday and all the talk was iwi. Iwi, Iwi, this, Iwi, that. Well, now it's happened. And Michelle's going to clean you lot right out, off the land, because the Hapu owns the land. Titles. Not you, lot of thugs and pirates. And Iwi, you are there with professors of New Zealand Crown and Waitangi Tribunal and Karen Fox. You are in our court, all caught up with brown notes on your head. You, you, you're the one that drove all this lot all the way through these years, and you'll lose your land and your house at Horoera. It's gone. They're taking it off you. I'm taking everything off you, and everything that your crown has got. All of them, one of you, singled out. All of you singled out. You're on the corporate side of Queen Victoria, and you've still got Queen Elizabeth here in your court, you stupid bloody fools. And you, you've got King Ernest Augustus right over your heads in the pound note. You are going to build a shit out of you lot, and no more you. Get out, on, off the land. Okay, Rapata put the whakapapa right on Hikurangi, Mount Hikurangi. You've gone and twisted it up, and the Chatham Islands of Mohi Manukau has got Toi Kairako there, right there, came from there to here. So there, proof, in those snapshots of Chatham Islands, or Rekuhu, with with um, with um, uh, One One, right? The One One tribe, and that that fellow, um, what's that fellow, in, in, with the Kotahi Town of Rain, um, and him, him um, as the chief, okay? Um, and there, he's on, his name is on there as well, on Chatham Islands, and also the Waikaro's there came from the Waikato there, and the Manukau there came from there to here. Not from here to there, like your professors are saying. They went from here to there. You did that so your marriage can go there. You see? 
No, you're back to front. You got everything asked about face. So we're going to reverse the whole lot by those pictures. You can't prove where Waikato changed from here to there. Where's the Waikato River over there when there's a Waikato Harbour but no Waikato River? If you say that Waikato Chief went from here to there, where's the Waikato River? Hmm? Where's, where's the Kaingaro Forest? There, from here. Hey, hey, where, where, oh, it doesn't add up, you stupid bastards. It don't add up. I'm telling you straight to your marriage face. You are bullshit. You are all bullshit. The whole bloody lot of you with, with um, Rarawa Kohere at the East Cape. There's no such word as Kohere there anywhere in the Whakapapa. Anywhere in the title. Where does it come from? Tahiti? Hawaii, England, or France. It certainly would come from England. You are Englishmen, Grarawa, dressed up to look like a Maori. And of course you run out. You're going to get booted off the land. That's what you fellas trespassed me off my own land. And the Kaikis put us out and put your name on the land. The Kohiris put your name on there. You're immigrants and you're under corporation law of Australia, New South Wales and New Zealand Crown. And I'm coming right over the top of your bloody heads with the British native title. They put the native title on this land with one oil, you stupid bastards. And you took it off. You took Mataru Wano off, we Wano, Hopeha Ohepa Wano, and stuck your fucking go ahead and name that's nothing to do with anything. It doesn't exist. That's what Tracy said. She was working in the courts, registrar of births, deaths and marriages, and can't find Kohere anywhere. I couldn't find it anywhere because you made it up in your fucking head, you muggles. You made it in your head like a lot of Maoris, even in Tainui, made it up in the head and called Teta Waikato, Whareheri Heri Manukau, a woman, you stupid bastard fools. You stole Mangatotri by doing that. Tainui, you're answerable and you've got a power note on your head. Your chief, your, your king, that's a, a New Wayan, not a Tahitian. So you got that all fucked up because the Napuhi don't believe him, didn't believe that that king was real and not real because you made it in your bloody heads, right? You made things up in your head and you're going to pay for all that. You're going to pay for changing the history and fucking the whole history fuck up up. Because you did that. You changed mine. You changed everybody. You changed my father in laws there in Pohara Marae. It's a poor Marae. That's not its real name. It's Punga Punga Marae, you mongrels. You bloody alien mongrel immigrants. And off you go. Out of the place. We're taking it over. And Michelle's going to make sure she's Arawa. She's Arawa. And that's what Mohi Manaka went along with. Arawa and Moriori went together. Okay? They went together because he told me all about it in the Kaipo. Everything was Arawa and Moriori, Manaka. Right? I'm telling the Moriori, Manaka story and the Wano, Rogan story. Right? We're married into each other. And the Manaka family don't know anything about this, have not any link to the Freemasons' instruments and their money's really worth. They had no claim to what Mohi left me. He signed it over to me to keep his legacy going with the Freemasons instruments of transferring native lands here, model for the whole country and the whole world to the British Crown. Right? That's where they took their model from, Helenville. And that's our authority there and Gregory can pick up the Kororareka side of the courts there and go with Michelle, that they are young to take things into their hands and keep our story going where the flag of Britain came in, where it changed into a confederation of the United Tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand. No Aotearoa. There was no Aotearoa in Britain. That was made up in these fucking Maori's heads. You see, and these Pākehās heads, they did that. So out they go, out your bullshit go with it. 
there's no waka called Altair at all. They bodged up the name Altair, the one we use as a waka from Tahiti, is Altair. There's no Altair or waka there. So where the fuck did they get that from to make their title Altair or New Tirini? There's no such thing as New Tirini in the British Crown system over there in Westminster. They would have said so, but they didn't say so. They just said, plain old New Zealand. And this government here, and these fucking cock and pork Maoris are trying to change the name into something else that's not real. Because they're a big fat fucking myth. That's all I can say, because I don't like to be one of them. That's why I said to Rachel, your documents have got Maori all over it. And it's not in this jurisdiction of native chiefs, United Tribes of New Zealand. You've got your own whakamininga and your own whakaputanga tribes in there and on your land up there to look after that for yourself. And you have to get that fight like buggery to get it off the government. You, you have to get it back because you gave it to them. You gave them the mana over all the other people in this country to go and do what they want because you're too lazy to go and take the country back. If you were the title holder, you would have had it back because you would have had Maori in the British government. They would have recognised you and you've already been to the World Court in The Hague and into the United Nations to the court there and United Nations and, and, and you got nowhere there. Alfred went there with Carla White and got nowhere, put the flag around his, his, his back and went there. What's, what's he gone there for? To, to, and Edward Monica went there too, thinking he was going to get the money from there. That's dirty money. You both went after the dirty money. I said, no, that's not where their flag come from. It didn't come from there. It came from Britain, you stupid bastards. It came from Britain, not the United Nations. That's all humbug. That's the fraud. It's still running a rampant fraud there in Americans. The Americans are the worst people on this planet. They are the worst Mongol terrorists that blew up their own people, innocent people, on their own land, the stupid Mongols. They're going to pay for that with this big green pound note. All those people over there that lost their lives, they're going to get the bill for killing them in the 9-11 and all the wars around the world. is bank wars of the Rothschild banks, the Lloyds Bank, all the banks, the, all the banks in the world that are running under the system of the Queen's Crown Court, right? Everything is a fraud. That's why those big power notes and now the chip coin to take over the Bitcoin because the government there in the US, the federal government and BlackRock and Vanguard, they want to take control of the Bitcoin and hide their wealth again in there. They're hiding away and shifting money around and companies around because fellows like um, Michael Saylor are showing them how it works and so they'll steal it off him, kill him, assassinate him and take it over. You watch. You watch the dirty bastards because I'm learning from him and the Japanese fellow, um, um, Kiyosaki, Robert Kiyosaki. I'm learning from him. They won't answer their phone when I ring them. <coughs> I can't get to talk to them. I'm not nothing. I'm a, a nobody in front of them. Wait till I get this fucking thing off the ground and see what they're going to lose everything. They're going to lose everything because they're running a fraud system. The whole thing is a damn fraud and it's caused by these bastards up at Waitangi on the Ngāpui side. The, the, the treaty grounds, it's on the treaty grounds that they've switched the whole lot off the hapū and gone with the, the iwi and the government Wellington. See? They're one in each other's fraud. They're, they're spreading the fraud from there to America and from there all around the world. And America's taken over the Britain that got them there in the first place. See how hypocritical they are and see what they do, shoot their own people in the back. 
after they got all the information out of them. You see, we, we, we come on top of them with the War Powers Act and shut them down, liquidate their business, one at a time. We'll take out one at a time. Cindy's the first. She's the biggest rat of all. She's the biggest swamp rat of all times. And Eddie is the other swamp rat from New South Wales. The biggest Maori swamp rat and a Japanese swamp rat and a Maori Ben Dalton swamp rat and the other rat is Ben Modena. He's the other swamp rat. That that guy, what's his name, Modena. Jade Modena is the other swamp rat, the Maori swamp rat. Two swamp rats, Maori, and one Japanese swamp rat <coughs> and a park here. <coughs> Chris Luxton swamp rat and all the other park here swamp rats like Jacinda Dern stabbed you in the back with the injection then bugger off him her and her Latter-day Saints Church and these other ones with their Church of England and their Catholic Church those two churches get the green power note on the head and liquidate them out of business too because they are not the original court of law of high courts and admiralty mortgage money making documents and Freemasons documents. We can say what we like about them because we are the British Westminster King's partner and Queen's partner too but more so the King's partner because he didn't steal from us. The Queen stole our Moa statues and took him to London. Why didn't she steal a Buddha and put that as her memorial on her document claim to the native countries of the world? Why pick a Maui statue? Because, you know why? Because they know the Dutch were clever to put those memorials together for their titles because they never touched anybody's memorial. It was the filthy Germans that stole all the people's memorials and the dirty Argentinian Pope Francis stole all the other memorials of the natives and took all the memorials and the money and the gold, everything out of the pyramids of the black African that God put there in the first place. The stone people, they stole all the wealth from the stone people and even Palestine, they stole the original Jesus Christ and all that history of them and turned it into a corporate Israel that's Netanyahu and his mob lot boot off the land. We're going to help Palestine to get their country back and boot those corporations off the land. When we boot these ones off our land, we'll go after all the rest of them in the world and boot them off the native people's land and get it back and all the wealth stolen. Get all your memorials back. We get our Moai memorial back and we don't want just heads back of chiefs, Maori chiefs. No, that's nothing to do with us. That's Maori have to get their Maori heads back. But I'm talking native, native people. The Maori with the carving came when the British and these thugs from Australia came here and made the Maoris wild and made the word Maori up to give them a title of Maoris with uncivilized behavior and uh, cannibals. That's what they call Maori, cannibals. That's what they say why they got carvings on their face, was to scare Pakeas off their land and it didn't work, it backfired because the Pakeha owns Maori, owns everything Maori and that's what's wrong with it, Rachel, when you hear this video of me talking, I'm telling you the truth about what I know with the 50 years I've been going <coughs> with Mohi Manukau and him and all the rest of them, Hare Uti Tonga from up there, I've got all these titles from the Ochotano family and uh, and one house on the Bay of Islands, the whole of the Bay of Islands was Ochotano and the Williams stole that for the Williams title. So I stripped the Williams titles as well because Harry Williams was Hare Ochotano, changed his name to Williams, <coughs> to Ochotano.
and he was in the confederation with me and Mohi Manukau and a few others in the Kaipara in Auckland. Okay? There were some Pakis in there too. And uh, with Tiawi Hongi and, um, and uh, Machi Tarawa and Sunakura and uh, also um, 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 some Pakis grand fame and um, there's some more others I can think of. But those are the people I was with. And I'm, I'm, I'm only going on the loyal ones that stuck to Moi and never changed their tune. Never changed everything like, like, like um, um, Alfred Mitchell changed. He changed when I was at his father's place on 4 Elizabeth Street in Bearscourt, Hamilton. He was with me, standing behind me while I'm making videos, and I said, oh, Tera Waikato is a man. He agreed that he's a man. And then all of a sudden he changed and said, no, he's a woman. And then I said, get out of here. You get out of here. I sacked him out of here in Eddie's home, their father's home. I sacked him out. Told him, back off. I'm putting you on, pound note on your head. And Eddie didn't flick a bit. He says, whatever you want. That's nothing to do with me. See, his own brother, he wouldn't back his own brother. He said, John, do what you want to do, I don't care. You see, he was only after the money. And because because Alfred was living in the shed, he had to move out. Because I said, I don't want him here. I'm paying you rent for this room, and I don't want him in this room anymore. Because it was his father's bedroom. I was in there. It's a spooky feeling being in there with his father's bedroom in that house while he, Eddie got him a brand new house and a big estate out in Tokopu. And I know where that is. You're going to lose all that place too. The whole lot. Because I've got it on film. Okay? I've got it on film with that other fella, that Irish fella that was with him, t taking video of Eddie. He's right there in the video. I can identify it for court and no trouble. He's there. I've got him and I've got his photo right there. Okay? It's going on this um, today and tomorrow, I'm putting it on this to send to Cindy Kira, say, here is your thief of 17 trillion plus. 17 trillion plus. It's one of yours. And your thug. This is your thug, the biggest thug in the world. I've caught him. I've caught him right here and you behind the scam real estate and the scam money and the scam land transfer and the scam married land court and the scam lens, and the scam everything, because all your photos are in there. You can't get them off, because the Freemasons owns the documents I have, and they have a stake in it too. One percent, that's all they're going to get. I was going to get five, but I'll be lenient. I'll give them one percent of what we recover for the use of their documents. You see? Because I told them already, I'm going to pay you one five percent, but now I changed my mind and said one percent because it's a hell of a bloody lot of work to go and capture you out in the fraud. But it's not the Freemasons' fault. It's you bastards that are raking the money in with their instruments. Okay? You are violating our instruments. Because I'm saying I own those instruments that are written all over and altered to suit our native magistrate King's Bench Court because the Freemasons knows I know a lot about Freemasons and Mohi Malakal because he left me in his confidence and his son Idu doesn't have that title. I got it because Mohi didn't trust him, his own son and his family and said, John, no, I'll talk to you and tell you everything. Okay, so that's how it works. I'm in charge of all his legal inheritance of the Manukau family. That's the title. No one can talk on their two feet as their own competing witness of everything I've written. There's nobody else that can replace me as the successor to Mohi Manukau and his Confederation of United Tribes Confederation business. Okay, that's the business that I'm running with Michelle Coco. And I'm allowing her to use these instruments because she's listening to me and Gregory too. He is onto it too because I've allowed 
him we've made up no more animosity between me and him and his own guard people are intact the ones i trust are the ones that are loyal to him and loyal to michelle michelle is the head of experience that i have seen i've got her her credentials i've got it all it's immense there's a lot that she has in her certification of working with the government and Maori. Okay, she's done a lot of work and that's what I go on certificates and experience in writing. So she said, this is me. And I said, oh, now I understand. Because that's all I know is certification of where is your documents to support what you're saying. And there we go hand in hand and Rachel uh, Witana is another one up there with Napui. She's got a lot to sort out herself with the government and she's going around the country. That's all right, she can do that, but we haven't got time to go around getting support. We've got support and, and Michelle has gone around and got the support of a majority of hapu, of rest and not so much the Ngāpui hapu, they can look after themselves with, uh, with um, Rachel and uh, I, I'm in their, their whakameninga anyway but I'm also in Mohi Manikau's Confederation of Chiefs in Helensville and I have, I have support from, um, from uh, Michelle and although um, um, Gion Jiha it's broken off me now because he disappointed me and turned on me and said his music comes first and not the corporation and titles I'm doing. He wanted his name right off, so I've let him go. I've let him go because he's saying too much and, um, and uh, so he's got a problem to try and keep himself going because I was there with him to learn what I do to pass it on to him. Well, it looks like it's not him now because of what he's done to me and made me very, very upset. So that's very hard to undo that because he's now his name is Paiko, Dion Paiko and not Dion Walker and his son is Shane Walker and not Shane Paiko. So I'm going to talk to the Pikos down in Raglan because I already know they know me down there already with Mohi Monaco and the Kafaru story. Ross Honor Kafaru from Nelson and Derbal Island and the connection to Nga Ere Kafaru, the father of Kafaru design in Raglan, Wangaro, Wangaro, and um, I, 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 I've been with Mohi all the way back, right back to Waikato, Heads and the Manukau Marae there. Te Hanga Marae changed the name, put their name on from Ngāpui. That's the Manukau Marae in Waiuku there. And the heads of the <coughs> southern harbour, Manukau Harbour, see, Manukau Harbour, not Tainui Harbour, not any other harbour, and, and, and not even its right named Waikato Harbour, it's got Monaco Harbour on it, not the Waikato Harbour, like the Waikato Harbour on Chatham Islands, okay? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all ass about face, it's been tampered with. The Papa and the names on the land have been tampered with. That's the South Head is their stronghold there at the Waikato Heads, and that Manukau Marae, their Tahanga tribe of Napui, put their name on the Marae and threw the Manukau into the water and took everything over. I know the Minihinex was there to do that. The white Minihinex took over the black Moriori Manukau. I know I can vouch for Mohi because I was fighting his battles in this bloody New Zealand Crown Office of Treaty Settlements. I was in and out of there with them and meetings with Rachel Holbrook that went along with 
with the Nazi fire to a tribe and T1 and Chibul, the Nazi profile running a scam Nazi fire to Olake. And I told him, I bailed him up in his office and said, what the hell do you think you're doing? This is not your place. You're down the east coast. What the hell are you doing running this place? This is a Monaco land and a Monaco title. What are you doing going with the crown in Wellington? So he's got something wrong with his head. They all got something wrong with their head. I'm not the one that got something wrong with my head, yet they threw me in the mental home. These mongrels on, on, in the police here, and I got all their names there, they threw me in there and took me through the back door in Middlemore Hospital, and those doctors, they're all going to get the trillion pound on their head, the whole bloody lot of them, for putting me in there for nothing. And just as well my brother came along, we one came along and got me out of there with his own ticker and his own status, title, as the landowner at the East Cape. Okay, so there, I'm just saying to, um, um, to people that know what happened to me there, and Dion saying, oh, if it wasn't for him, I'd still be in there. No, Dion, you came to see me in the hospital because you wanted to follow the story of Kafra and the Manukau. You That's why you came to see me with Tracy. You came there to try and put a spin across to help me and tell them that, that I don't have a mental problem or anything like that. And that's what you did to me at Tuomaka Marae. After all, I finished all the hearing was a success. You came up and said, I'm a mental case. That put me right off. You said, I'm a mental case. I said, get the fucking hell out of here. Get out. And kicked you right out of the place. Because that was my hui. That's, I'm the one that got the marae. And you came and offended me because you came there to play your yoke and your songs and that's all you know is songs. But you're not to use any of my material to make songs out of for your benefit. And after you saying you've got nothing to do with corporations and titles and so you get no title, you get nothing from me for doing that to me, calling me a mental case. You're just like those hospitals. You went there and said, I, I, it wasn't for him, I would not I, I would be still in there. No, my brother got me out, not you. It wasn't you that got me out. It was my brother. We went through a lot of trouble to get out. And even when I went back home to the East Coast, I had to go to Tapuya Hospital all the time and get fucking jabbed. Not you around anywhere there. I got jabbed for a year and a half there and had to comply to get released from the claws of the fucking Jacinda Ardern and John Key and this bloody Cindy Kiro's fucking jab. Okay? All the poison in me. It was poison to hell. And I got out of that and still affected by all the jabs that I went through there. As well as not, just as well as not this COVID bloody jab that Cindy Kiro is killing everybody here and putting them right out because she's in that fucking group of thugs and pirates in the World Economic Forum. Now that Carl Schwab is gone, who's the next fucking thug taking his job? He's got to get in a gun too with this contract on his head. Yeah? And anybody that comes into Parliament in Wellington, you're going to get this bloody piracy law on your head too. You're pirates in the high sea, out there, on our land, offending us on our own land and making us do your law and we're saying, no, we are the law, you go, get the fuck out because you're not going to tell us we'll own nothing and be happy. We're not happy with you there doing all what you're doing with Nazi Hine and making an office in Whangarei to bring everybody there and get killed, right? You're all going there to see your death sooner with the next jab coming along. We're not going to let it come here and we're going to get the military to come here and boot you out with the United Nations Army that's ready to come here now to make sure everybody unjabbed gets jabbed. You go get fucked, you lot of thugs in Parliament. Get out of here. Get out of here, Michelle. Get rid of them and get 
all the hapus behind what I'm saying. I'm here for the hapu. I'm driving the hapu as as one of them at the East Coast. Okay, we've got our Moai title there at Kapito, the birth of New Zealand at East Cape, there to Kapito, Easter Island, and our title from Tahiti straight there. Right? Straight there with the um, Moai in London. That, that, that's the three-point star of Sun Ra. Okay? 12 midnight on East Island, 6 in the morning at Tipito, at the East Cape here in New Zealand, and 6 p.m. in um, um, Equa, Ghana, Phoenix Hotel on the beach there. The sun shines in those three places at the same time. Three places of the sun. That's our title to my and the world planet. There, right there. And no one can go near that. That's Queen Victoria title because it's also 6 p.m. in London. Okay, on a different side scale of the um, two hour difference from Accra, Ghana. It's still on the same line, same timeline. And, and 6 p.m. in Accra, Ghana is 6 p.m. in London, on the dot. So London is still the third sun mark shining at the same time. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That's our title over you fucking Cindy Kiro that got nothing. You've got nothing like that for the whole world. Where do you get your authority from, Cindy Kiro? Tell me that. Where do you get your authority from to make you there? It's not, don't say the Queen, because you'll cut yourself off and thrown the British Union Jack flag in the sea. And you've got your little flag there that means fuck all to us. You don't have a King's authority or Queen's authority to be there. You only got the Queen's photo with a Maori chief in the courts and in the Parliament and the government. That's not real, you mongrel. You're a fucking mongrel, Cindy Kira. Get the hell out of here. The same as what I said to Gion. Get the fuck out of here because you're a walker and I'm saying you're a walker. You changed your passport to a PICO and that was only two years ago. And it doesn't make you a native PICO. It makes you a native walker. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Don't fool around with these titles. Don't get in the road because you got in the road and messed yourself up. That's too hard to forget you for doing that to me and making a mental case out of it because you think everyone's a mental case except you and you know how to fix it. Brian fixed me up, mate. Not you. I don't need you to fix me up. He fixes me up. Okay, I don't need you. And you offended him too. Said you can do what he does. Not really. You think you do. You think you know everything by just reading something. No, no, no. You're short cutting. So keep out of my road, please. Don't come and try and make up because you're hard to, after all these years teaching you, to forgive you. It's just not going to work because you changed your name and sticking by it and saying to me, you got it wrong. And you're telling Ticker, oh, tell him my name is Pico. No, that's you, the same as Cindy Kira and every other myth person here, Maori, changing names just like you would say the same thing as Alfred Mitchell, Pakia surname, saying that Tila Waikato is a woman. You'd go along with it because you believe Tainui, because you always say Tainui this, Tainui that, and Natifa to this, Natifa to that. You're in the same fucking boat, mate, with Cindy Kira. You're saying the same things as Natifa to her. That's where the walkers are up there. And you're saying the same thing about Tainui, about Waikato, you can't tell me where Waikato come from. You're only learning from me. And then you've got to face your own Tainui people. Bullshit. You've got to say, face your, your Tainui people stealing my ancestors' Mangatotri Mountain. And I'm trying to teach you how to work. And you're trying to be on both sides, a Paiko and a Walker, at the same time. Don't fool Moai. You can't fool Moai because he's watching you and 
make my nerves rattle. Anybody make my nerves rattle like you did that day? I was good until that happened. And the fellow looking after the marae heard what you were saying and heard what I was saying. And Andy was watching too, but he didn't video it. I wish he would have put it so that everybody can see you making a fool of yourself in front of me. I've been here too long, mate. I've been 50 years with this. And you're just learner. You're just learning and think you know everything and just go and spout things around the place and start making songs. You're forbidden from making songs about what I'm writing about and all the documents. Keep off them. Don't use any of my material for anything you're doing for your self-interest. That's what you're doing just for you to feather your nest. Well, it's not going to work. You'll, you'll get a power note on your head if you go any further with it. Pull off and stop using what I'm writing about. Okay? And don't talk about pikos because I'll talk to them myself and see if you're a real pico or a real walker and who's fooling who. You or the pikos are fooling me. I don't think it's the pikos because I already can tell. Okay, so that's that one out of the road. So he's gone. And I'm just back with ordinary people who want to learn properly how this works. You've got a problem with your Tainui and your Nāsifato Oraki and Nāsifato Kikaipara. You've got a problem with Nader and your family up there. And that's why you're going backwards and with everything there because you're, you're caught in the rut. You're caught in the whole scam of the Kafiru family up there, who Kafiru and all your family there in um, Puatahi Marae. That's, that's nothing to do with you and the Manukau Kafiru story of Ross Hona Kafiru. He's the rightful Kafiru there, not you and your, um, your Nahi family that's gone and screwed everything up with your name changing. You're one of them name changers that's fucked the whole fuck up of all. You've done that and it don't look good in a native court. You won't be coming in a native court like that anymore. Okay, there's plenty of other good people that have a right to what they tell me, if they tell me honestly who they are. You can't make it up in your head, Dion, because you fool your own self. So don't get in the way of what we're doing. Okay, I've forgiven Greg Cook because he's man enough to, to apologize and I apologize to him and we are all good. But you, you're, you're not the same as Greg because you have gone and told everybody this and that and this and that as if you, 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 you are the chief. No, I was going to make you succeed to a chief's position but you can't be trusted. That's the end of that. You stick to your music like you said, your music comes first and don't make music about what I'm writing about and what I'm making as real, okay? You stick to Tainui and write songs about Tainui and the fraud corrupted king. Your king, New Alien king, is not Tahitian, so that's all fucked up. You sing about him and he's bullshit, okay? You talk and sing about him and he's bullshit and you sing about Sir Hugh Kafra's bullshit up there in the Kaipara. You can sing about that and your Puatahi Marae and Nader Clavis sing her songs. Go and sing her songs because that's your chief. That's your chief of your Walker family. She is your chief and she got a trillion pound on her head. Don't get in the way and do something wrong because you'll end up with a pound note on your fucking head too. So shut your mouth about saying anything out of place because you call me mental and I'm saying you got that one wrong, okay? It took a lot to get this far without you putting me down, okay? That's why I went like that in front of everybody because when I'm like that, I don't care about anything because you are an enemy just like Cindy Kira are saying the same thing as Alfred Mitchell and Eddie Mitchell. You're all together. You and Eddie Mitchell are one of the same ilk with changing things around, changing names and stealing, stealing 
information, right? You're stealing intellectual property. What I write is my intellectual property. Me and the Freemasons and Mohi Manaka and Ross Honakafru down the South Island. And yeah, that's that because I had the big hui up in Auckland and your King Juhetia kicked me off the marae at the airport and, and said, no, you can't have this marae. Just after I paid the deposit and he wanted to come to the hui and Mohi said, no, he's not coming. And when I told his, his team, no, Mohi don't want you there, they shut us out and we had nowhere to go and then the Manirewa Marae's Ngāti Pro let us in there and we had it there while there was a funeral. They let us go there and there's two marae's and we took the other marae and we had our hearings there for one for Hill to try and get it back and that didn't work because they're all fucking family up there, neither, and your bloody Walker family up there fucked that all up with your fellow's kāwhiru title, right? There, you and your lot buggered me and Mohi Manakawa and they believe you and your whakapapa and Neda and all your families up there instead of Mohi Manakau, me and the Rogans. You went the other way, you see? And now you're trying to get on this side because your side looks too crooked. You stay with your crooked side, Dion. Don't come on this side because you offended me. Yeah, that's the end of that, um, Michelle. You saw that. You saw that happen. So, yeah, end of story. End of story. No more of that. And we can carry on going and get the end of this chapter and shut these mongrels out for good. The bullshit and the myth. Get rid of the myth. Get rid of the control over us and control over our land and our law. Because if you read there on one of the pages, it's got the New Zealand Crown High Court law is subject to the British Crown High Court law. See? So there. That's us there with the High Court law there over this fucking rubbish lot of bloody fraudsters. Okay, that's all I can say about them. Cindy Kira, this is for you to wrap you up no more here. No more. You get the hell out of here and get cracking out of here and shut you down because we've got AI as our e-state AI government. They won't take long to stick it together and run the whole thing with AI. We don't have to do a thing. You don't waste the money on you lot of bloody thugs. You can get the hell out because you paying yourselves after you retire, and that's going to save a lot of money if we go corporate, AI, federal state, government of New Zealand and the world. We are the head of the British Crown legal inheritance, title holders, the lease hold, head lease of the British Crown and the Moai crown taking over Queen Victoria's crown. She's used the Moai and we claim the Moai back with her crown title and we claim the King William III's title with our seals of King William III and King William IV jurisdiction and legal authority and also the crown um, crown um, um, control of leases, head lease of all 256 countries to pick up the franchise high court rules. And so this government here has to pay back the lease of backdating the whole lease right back to 1689 and they've forfeit that to us because they can't prove they've got that power with the flag. We've got the power. The power is not in the whakaputanga side of the flag. It's in the confederation side. That's why they have federation of Maori authorities to make it look like they have the federal power. No, they don't. Those are Maoris. Maoris have no part in a, a native title. Maori was made there so that 
the park here can sell Maori land. While we're seizing all the Maori land, including Eddie's land, including everything he stole, back into a native title, Michelle. That's us and the rest of New Zealand watching this video and better listen about this and get to know quickly because the sooner you know, the better because we don't have a big following. Once it gets viral out there, and I've got one radio station there that may want to pick it up and run with it, and I'll go with it. The UK radio station and American radio station. You see? So there. I can't talk to um, Michael, um, Michael um, Taylor and, and uh, um, Robert Kiyosaki, the two Bitcoin kings, and because they won't answer their phone. She, that, that they won't answer and talk to me because I'm a nothing as far as they're concerned. Well, they get a dead bill on the head, they'll soon know who I am. And anybody that get a dead bill on the head who'll know who I am. Okay? So there, that's my biggest fan at the moment is Emma Watson. And she wants me to pay her fees to fly somewhere to meet her and talk to her about what I'm talking about here. And I, 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 I'm a bit shy of paying because I haven't got the money to pay her airfares. I might have it soon when I get this thing going, pay her to interview me. She wants to interview me. Just the, 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 the Harry Potter, the, the girl. She's, she's in the human rights thing. She, she's um, talking uh, like um, Kate Middleton, um, Prince William's wife. She's, she's suffering cancer and, and of the bowels and I watched her video today and it said that a nice girl like her was the same and, and temperament and, and uh, doing good and got a tyrant husband that's, that's doing the opposite. He's, he's the next, um, what you call it, um, one to take Charlie um, the Dracula over with all the fraud uh, monarchy, okay? So there, she's dying and he's already playing around, mucking around with another woman. So there, it's sad to see her going through that debacle and and Harry going through the same bloody thing with M Megan getting tossed around the place when they are nice people and it's just the royal family that's fucked up in the head. It's fucked up in the head and in the fraud scam with the EU Parliament and the German Zionist Illuminati running the whole world a rampant um, war, um, war, bank war, um, uh, takeover, trying to take over, but Putin won't have a bar of it. So Putin and Russia and also China um, are in the scam as well with um, making um, China making the, the, the virus and selling it to America and America is, is using it to take the world over and it's backfiring and there, yeah, we're, we're just going with China and Russia because it's better than nothing. The best thing to do is get somebody else to trade with and that's what I'm about to do, sign with the, the Chinese, with the um, building projects and also with the tidal turbine uh, platform bridges going around the world and they'll put them up in a hurry. That's going to be our cash cow is the hydrogen economy bigger than the fossil fuels and put them out of business. It'll put the oil people right out of business. The hydrogen will take over once you start filling the big aircraft up with the hydrogen bulk uh, and it costs less to produce than the methods they're using to make hydrogen fuel. They've got all the trucks and vehicles going on hydrogen like now. That saves us a lot of time because we can get shiploads of hydrogen powered vehicles ready to go and just put the bridges up and spend a lot of money there. And that's what we are about to do with you, um, uh, Michelle. And you can look after all the courts in the world, the Supreme Courts and the courts of Britain with me. 
but I don't have to do that job. I'll just look after the hydrogen um, economy, and um, and that will get our chip going right up there, and 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 get us going. See, so it'll be good for everybody in the world once they get their native lands back, and that includes any country that's going off the rails with that system of one world order. And we've got our own relationship with China and Russia with BRICS, ready to sign with them if China and Russia puts us in, or India in fact, because Michelle's got something going with them as well. So there, we can do that straight away. And that's something that we can't muck around with anybody who can't do this sort of work. And you just have to know what you're doing, otherwise you'll sink. And uh, Rachel is a, a long way off. She needs to get the support of the whole country. Behind who? Is it behind Napui and the Whakamininga? Or is it behind the hapu up there? Because uh, Michelle's got all the rest of the hapus around the country in her um, field of work and uh, for a long time, not a few years, and Rachel would have to start from scratch. We haven't got time to start from scratch. We just have to do what we've got to do and not um, put Ngāpui out because I'm still in their confederation and um, um, and their whakamininga, but um, um, I know which way to go, but I'll support them on what their intentions to do, and Rachel wanted to come and talk with me in the Islam Bank, which I might do, but I have to get approval from my king and um, and uh, and uh, Michelle. I have to get their approval first before I let her come in, Rachel. There's no offence, but I'm stuck with this lot now, and Gregory Cook and um, his home guard that's going to do the honours on the Admiralty side to make sure our contract sticks and our flag sticks and our flag is being compromised and his job is to uphold the Admiralty on our business and he's right in the business with the Native Magistrate King's Bench Court he's had a lot of time with and still is in that as well as us and our little team, me, Robert the Car and Pare Rivers. So there. They are on a steep learning curve. Everyone's on a steep learning curve and I know uh, Michelle is pretty good at what I'm doing and I can leave her in confidence to carry on and she knows what to do. I don't have to be there. And that's how I like it, because she's got the documents and can talk to them, because we've already done one court hearing with her, number 56, number 57 court hearing, not number 56, number 57, though she was in number 56 as well. So she started off there and went into 57 court hearing, and that's a British native court jurisdiction, not Australia, New Zealand, Government Crown, Little Crown jurisdiction, which Rachel is in that lot and not with the British Crown and with what I've been for years, with Moi Manukau and the Rogan judges and the Cosgroves from Ireland, okay, the Cosgrove lawyers. That's my family, married my family, James Cosgrove from Ireland married my family, Wanoos, and that's the connection with the eight point star of King William III of Orange. I've got a direct line with my monarchs of the Wano and the Rogan and, and Cosgrove uh, coat of arms. I'm wearing those coat of arms with me and them from Scotland, the coat of arms there of the Rogan and the Cosgroves from Ireland. Well, Rogans are in Ireland as well, so it can interchange between Ireland and Scotland. 
our wars, both working together in a British UK crown system, which that is still live. It's still a live contract with Ireland, England, Wales and Scotland, and we have the Scottish title of lease for the whole world value. We have the head lease of the Freemasons there that Eddie Mitchell had gone there. He didn't go there. He sent some fellows with his money, his millions, paid them to go there for three months to search out the Freemasons' office, the government, and also the land transfers in the High Court or the Magistrate King's Bench Court there, or Magistrate Court there, of the time of 1823, Tira Waikato Wharehere Manaka of Paramount Chief from Mangatotri Mountain, and his Punga Punga Marae, where the Pohara Marae is, that's his rock there, memorial, to New Zealand land title lease. The head lease is the big rock there for you people watching this video. Me say that on my two feet, that that is the contract law lease to New Zealand Aotea country. Okay, so I've written it all up. I've written it all up with the Freemasons there as party to a two-party contract between us and Andy Devine, Lee Kent and David Ellis and a few others there with their natives of England soil land and with a contract with Andrew and Jackie Little Gordon from Scotland natives on their land and Paul Brown and, and Sean Maguire from Ireland on their native soil land. I've been there. I went there to unveil the eight point star of St. Patrick in Down Patrick with Paul Brown and those lot there. And um, in Wales, um, I've forgotten who's in Wales, uh, Jeff Foley. In Wales, he's the original England as well. Okay, so Jeff Foley in Australia is part and parcel of the native of, uh, of Wales. He's a native of Wales, is part and party, part and parcel of what we're doing here as third party to a two party contract with England and a two party contract between us and Wales with Jeff Foley and a two party contract between us and Paul Brown and Sean Maguire and that's where um, Frank McElharan is Irish, but he can go either way, Irish or England. One of them is in Manchester, England, so he can go England, um, part, second party, to us with the flag as the first party in a new contract with BRICS, um, a partnership on the military side, because the Navy was our partner before, They've gone and jumped overboard and gone, lost at sea, dead at sea, and abandoned ship and gone to EU Parliament as a British armed forces and no more Navy. Okay, no more partnership. They broke our marriage contract and therefore we default them and pay the bill for the stolen gold, the stolen sovereignty of the natives of England, natives of Scotland, natives of Ireland, natives of Wales, natives of New Zealand, natives of Pacific Islands, and natives of every other native country that want their land and their title legal inheritance back. Once we get our native legal title back here in Aotea New Zealand, then we're going to repeat it with those people online with the Zoom meeting online straight to the representative there. It'll be a Zoom straight to Andrew Little Gordon and Jackie, straight to Scotland and somebody else there as well. Um, and uh, 
um, with um, um, Paul Brown and his dad there and, um, and um, um, Kildare. They, they live just up from Kildare. Uh, so there, um, I just know now when I went to stay with him there, it was just up from Kildare in, Scott, in Ireland and uh, Sean Maguire there and Pat Maguire and um, the other fellow that's Kevin Blackburn is in England with Andy, um, natives of England first. So there, Kevin, we're, we're on our way with your yellow jacket people. I'm still there with you as a process into a native title now. We're going to take the land back under the City of London, which is those real estate now. We're going to see that lot and the land under Westminster Parliament and the land under all the castles. We're going to see the whole lot back into your native of England title and go after all the missing gold and kick them all out of Westminster Parliament and put AI in there. AI is better than those mongrels. Okay, same as here. We'll get this one going, then we're into that one next, and then we go to Scotland next, and then to Ireland next, and then Wales next with Jeff Foley, and then into the other countries. I'm going to the Philippines as well, because a lot of gold is hidden there with where my family is. Um, 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 Rosemary and the kids are there waiting for this moment to go there and set them up in business. I'm setting them up in business on their own native land. It's all ready to go. So dear Rosemary, that's one for you and waiting patiently for this to open up this um, country here first. Okay, so that's that. And then we go to uh, India. That's um, 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 my friend over there, um, Sonia Gill. And I can go there, finally go there and meet her. And it's been a long time, a long time coming when we were had things ready to go. I said I'm coming. I didn't because I had no money to go there to meet her. And it was going very good back then, right back to 2010, 2008, somewhere around there, maybe a bit earlier, when I'd known her there. And, uh, um, and um, what's her name in uh, Ghana? Um, that, Ella, that Ella girl there, um, Adoy, uh, Linda Adoy, there. So there, that's the other one there. Those two were going to be ambassadors for New Zealand. And she can come to New Zealand as ambassador for um, India, and Chandigarh, India. And I want to deal with India as well. Go and see India, and she can show me around the hills where all the Buddhas are, and I can talk about the Moai and the Buddha being partners. So there, the Moai would be a good partner for lots of people and, um, and on the good side of the world um, uh, freedom movement, okay? All the indigenous people of the world and including their people that have come to live with them as visitors are now part and parcel as natives born on the land there, and they're all one. This court is all about everybody being one and no separated tribe or culture. It's going to be one culture of everybody sharing their culture together. Okay? I like Thai food. That's what I had for dinner last night. Thai food. I had the green curry, uh, pork last night, and I've got my own tonight, I'm cook my own today, so I can put the pot on now and heat it up for dinner afterwards. I deserve it after all this talking, and I hope you enjoy what I'm saying, and it will give you a spark of life of an alternative system, better than what's there now, you'll own nothing and be happy. Class tribe is gone now, so that German has buggered off, and everybody else will bugger off too. And because they've stolen everything and we're going after them to get it all back, including the Vatican has stolen everything under the Vatican, hidden all the stolen wealth, gold, and all the memorials and all the um, pyramid stuff. They've stolen. The church stole it. The church are the biggest 
criminal thugs in the world, the church, even Eddie Mitchell and his Baptist church in Singapore is the IBC that stole my company now out the way while Altair Limited belongs to all you people, natives of New Zealand and the world and the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, London. Okay, those two credit companies and are going after all these thugs and pirates and make them pay up as debtors. They only run on debt. All the real estate people like Eddie Mitchell is running debt. They make money out of debt and people have to pay tax and they pay no tax. He doesn't pay no tax because they wangle the whole system and now they're going to hide underneath the Bitcoin and we'll open that can of worms up too with the Moa chip coin. We'll go right over the top. I'll find out help from Michael Saylor and, and um, um, Robert Kiyosaki. How does Bitcoin work? How do they make their money by not being regulated and for going and selling things without any identification or accounting? There's no need to account because your database is all split up in all the people who are members are part and parcel of a chain of databases. Instead of one central database, they have millions around the world that's hard to shut down now that it's gone this far. That's what Sailor's telling me, and I'm doing the same thing with the Moai chip coin. The same way, only thing is you'll know how much you're worth. You'll know how much everything is worth in a Moai chip coin because he can't lie. He can't make money out of anybody because the system is rigged. That's what Michael Saylor is saying and, and Robert Kiyosaki. That's the man, rich dad, poor dad. And he's made money out of fraud, real estate, fiat money and land transfers from native land into another title and then sold the land and bought the land and screwed the taxpayers of their share of paying tax. See? It's because he said, I don't pay tax. He's telling everybody he doesn't pay tax. Well, he'll have to pay tax to this native court. The British native court will make him answerable, otherwise he'll lose all his real estate, 15,000 properties on one man owns 15,000 properties. That's how that fraud system works against you, the ones that have King William III's War Powers Act and Mortgage Lien, Pound Notes and Bank of England Act. He created that, created the mortgage liens, and we're going to use his power to mortgage lien the whole lot of them, including those two and their chip coin, bitcoins and every other coin that's making money without paying tax and getting away with it, right? They can sell and buy property under the radar. No accounting, but when the federal state takes control, because they're in it too, they're running a scam Bitcoin, because they half it, half the value of the amount of Bitcoins that go in, you only have 21,000 Bitcoins, and that's it. They've got a limit on We don't have limits on ours. Ours is a trillion worth straight off the mark and 970 million trillion trillion at the top end. So one minimum and one maximum. It's anywhere between. And we've got one of a million shares in Natuewa Altair Limited New Zealand Registered Company. One of a million, a million, a billion shares. One of a billion shares. Okay, so there, and 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 so we split those shares up into your mobile phone under the um, um, under the um, Sky Sky Nova system and the. Um, well, TagPay was the other one, but it's got a new name now. Under that system, French company, that never gets scammed. 
So there, we're going to use that system of money transfer. In under a minute, I can give you a million bucks straight out without getting scammed. Under that, that um, I can't think of the name of it, of the tag pay, the old tag pay, French company, he's got a new name now. We've got Sky Nova, and, and Sky Nova is the invoice company for the, the bill, the, the trillion pound bill, and then you've got the other one, that's the um, uh, tag pay, the old tag pay, it's got a new name now, I can't think of it, but them, French, and we use them to pay out on, and it's fixed, it's fixed, everything we, we've got is fixed. And we've got the hydrogen economy with the water money currency. We'd be higher than the gold and higher than the Maui pound note. And then you've got the chip coin on top of that. So you've got all that, the gold money, the water money, the pound note money, and the chip coin money. You see, you've got all that to value yourself and your birth certificate at a trillion. That's your birth certificate on top of it. And then the land title, value of the land. That's another one. All those values is in the chip coin. The whole everything, I'm going to tell you the final figure before long, so you know how much you are actually worth. And all the debt people are going to get the bill and mortgage on top of their heads. They can't get out of it. Because once your name and your photos in this court, advertised online in front of the world, that's it. That becomes law because no one is refuting it. And it's your fault for not saying anything. Silence is acquiescence to being guilty as charged. Okay? This court says you're guilty and can't be made innocent because you're all in the same Queen Victoria fraud. Okay? You're, you're in the same fraud from when the Rothschilds took over the King Ernest Augustus title. So we're backdating everything back to King William III and his title inheritance and law, court of record, law of money. Okay? The Bank of England Act, the Power Note Act, and the War Powers Act, 1689. Okay, those and the Constitution Act of 1689 and the Bill of Rights Act 1689. Not 1688, that's Catholic. Right? That's Catholic changeover and booted out. The Catholics got booted out by the Protestants in 1688. That's Kate Frost and her German bastards and Zionists and Illuminati, all the ones who are causing this one world government take over, we'll boot her and the whole lot of the Germans right out off the planet. They can go somewhere else with Elon Musk right out into the yonder and kill themselves out there and blow up and burn up like he's with the cars. Blow, blow up and disappear, evaporize, evaporize with his stolen fiat money wealth. He's in the scam too. He's part of the scam One World Order too with all those corporate thugs. Okay, that's all that's all for now. I'm gonna have my dinner and then I'll I'll put the documents on the stick. Get it all ready. While Michelle puts her documents together and send them to me tomorrow and I can stitch them all up together in the one book. Like that. I'll put them in this book and just get them added down at the warehouse and have them loose on file for you to download online. Okay, you can download the documents. I've got my website up and running now, thanks to Brian Workman. He's um, financed me, him, Robert Dakar, and Paddy Rivers have financed me in the business. So thanks to them, and thanks for Brian getting our um, website up and running and getting the company bills paid and also the company fee paid and the domain paid and, and, and uh, other bits and pieces 
in the painting as well. And <clears throat> good on him because he's with us now. He keeps our health in order and he fixes up my problems. I had problems with my toe and he fixed that up, no problem. Just like that. No more needing any medication or anything to get me going. He fixes me up and makes me look good and makes sure I'm eating properly and pay for my um, mobility scooter because my car uh, is, is in need of work on the warrant but it's nice it's going but it's in Rangitukia back at Rapata down the east coast and uh, I don't need it at the moment I'll wait till I get the funding and the bank going and then I'll get a new car and do this and that and everything and get around quick with a helicopter so there, it'll be efficient and the Home Guard will be up and running and everything will work out with Michelle and she'll be well financed because I'll have the Islam Bank and the profit sharing system signed up. I'll get that going because they're waiting for me to go and sign. And uh, um, Juliet Jiang with her high-rise buildings, I'll whack those up all over the place and there's 50 of those going on my land block at the East Cape. One for each BRICS government, 50 BRICS governments there, including our government there on our land block, and also the British military can come to Rangitukia on that Waipa River and clean up all the land, the wasteland, that's the river has taken a lot of land, they can fix it up and put the military base there for the whole Pacific, right there. There's 20 kilometres all the way to Rotoria, it's longer than 20 kilometres along the whole river and fix it up. They'll fix it up in no time. And a road like I've put on online, a road around the coastline, just like the photo I put up today of the road the Chinese have put right around the coast, off and it's round the east coast from Gisborne, go to Whakatane and it's right on the coast with the best views in the world, with the sun, first sun in the world rising in the east there at Tipito and all the Kermitic Trench and all that is accessible with us and our turbines going out on the Ranfurly Bank to kick off all 60 platform bridges in the Pacific and the rest of the world you know, in the countries that have got their franchise with the tidal turbine bridge and that will be a, about 50 billion turnover a year, okay, on each one, and that's all our royalties going into this business, the Na Atuaiwa Aotea Limited, creditor business, and also the Maui Crown King William IV Trust that takes over the British Crown business because they've run, gone away, and Charlie is no king of ours. He's not our successive king. It is the rightful bloodline of King William III to King Ernest Augustus I to King Ernest Augustus V. And that's our King of Westminster Parliament to keep it going because Charlie is corrupted and his Queen has taken the title with Trump and Gordon Brown into the EU Parliament in Frankfurt, Germany, where she wanted a new government there and went to die in Scotland. That's Queen Elizabeth. She did the dirty on the native British people or the English natives in England <coughs> because she was the Queen of England, not the British UK. She was the Queen of England and now Charlie is just about dead with a problem with his ass. He's got cancer and also um, Kate Middleton has a problem similar as well for her because I like Kate and her kids. I like them because they're innocent just like Diana and I fear for her because Charlie's playing around with another woman. Um, um, William is playing around with another woman and, and that's no good. That, that's no way to be a role model for his kids and for the British, because the British has gone to the pack with Cumberpatch and, and 
sun and pain, the mongrel that put me off and put me down when I was there and said, I'm wrong, but now look at them. They're a mess. They're wrong. They're all wrong because it's sold off. Your own fucking bloody people sold you off to the EU Parliament. Gordon Brown, the Scot, and, and, and Sturgeon, Nicola Sturgeon, the Scot, sold the whole British Westminster off to the EU Parliament and that lot of thugs. Okay, they're all thugs and left Britain all to us as what well, we were the second party to the Queen and second party to the King. And now we are the first party with that mongrel lot gone and our King Ernest Augustus is still there in the wings. We are using him as our king of our documents and not Charlie Horsey bloody pedophile. Right? We, 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 we don't want him anywhere near our native title. And, and William is not going to take our King William Dutch title. He's not Dutch. He's German. Okay? And he can't take our Irish title because he's not Irish either with King William III of Orange and the Irish royal standard flag is over William got no Admiralty mortgage lien title. He has stolen it with Queen Victoria and stolen this and that and everything. And he's not going to steal our King William IV flag because he's a William. There's the wrong William, wrong bloodline and fraud usurpation of King Ernest Augustus and King William monarch bloodline. They are not bloodline. William is not a Dutch bloodline, another neither is he King George the Third and his three sons bloodline. King George the Fourth, King William the Fourth and King Ernest Augustus the First, three brothers and their father King George the Third Prince William is none of that. He can't string an Admiralty mortgage lien title together in his name and his corrupted fraud paedophile family and Rothschild family are all fraud fake money. And look at it, it's all falling apart because the people have voted them in all year after year and look, it's turned on them and gone against them. No more of that family anywhere. And we're taking it over, Andy. We're taking the crown over and William is a third party to King Ernest Augustus I. He's a second party to us, the first party with King William IV flag, corporation, dominant title holder of the land lease of native land all over the world is our flag dominance here as the first contract partner and King Ernest Augustus V is the second partner in the corporate contract with our King William IV flag and not William um, Prince William, that that side's going to make king, and it's a default. He's a default king, and he gets to inherit Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria's bill, and the Rothschild Bank's bill, and the Vanguard and and BlackRock bill. Right? He will take the debt bill because they're a debt business and they'll get the debt from us, the bank credit company of the Bank of England. We're taking over, Andy. We're taking over the Bank of England. My two daughters are there to be with you, and hopefully their mother will be here running the bank here, the my Crown King William IV Bank of the Pacific and New Zealand. Okay? The Pacific Bank and then 
who got the Maori Palace Bank in England there to run the business there as creditor over all your thugs around Westminster and inside Westminster and sacked the whole bloody lot. Sacked them because we are taking AI to uh, China and Lee, Mr. Lee, will run the whole lot with AI. And that's our next move, China. Okay, China and Russia and India. Those three first and then Brazil and then the other countries. Yes, more and more countries have gone into BRICS and we are going to be nominated then as the Maui Crown East State Federal Republic Government of Aotearoa New Zealand. Dutch country, not William German, not Cindy Kiro Japanese, not American Biden pissing mongrel dirty treasonous terrorist prick of an ass brain dead man that's running America off the rails and bringing immigrants in and making a mess of America. It's gone to the back. It's gone stupid. Waste of time talking about America. It used to be nice, but it now it's just burning up like Tesla's cars, M M Elon Musk's cars. It's blowing to bits. Self-imploding, the same as Britain, is self-imploding and it's waiting for us to go there and fix the whole bloody lot up and get your native land back, um, Andy and um, Kevin Blackburn. We're ready for you to bankroll you as soon as we get this lot sorted out here and liquidated. We're liquidators. We're bank liquidators of mortgage lands of King William III of Orange. Okay, that's who we are. We are liquidators and mortgage brokers and demon catchers. Demon catchers and fraud debt recovery business. Okay, that's us. Michelle is going to run that lot as debt recovery business. Okay, that's under our court system. And she's going to enforce these laws and make it work for us by contracting someone that can be a military for us with the Home Guard. We need military from each BRICS country, any one of them, to come here on our land and on that 502 hectare land at Waitangi Treaty Grounds, put them straight in there, Michelle. Stick them straight on land because I've got the titles to transfer the land back with Kingy's signature right there. Okay, for there and Mohi Manukau's signature as well for the Moriori title in Helensville Magistrate Court to Okiato Magistrate Court and Great Cook there to look after that side there under the Confederation of Chiefs in Helensville, Aurora. And Dion, sorry, is not going to be there with me no more because he's out. And I'll find somebody else to teach. <coughs> this time it'll be more subtle than someone in the mental home. He, he worked as a mental um, mental nurse <coughs> before. That's why he talks like that for mental people. He can look after the mental people and they're all in misery at the moment. The whole bloody lot of people are in a mental state of chaos because because the government and Ngāti Whātua and Tainui and Ngāti Pro and Ngāpui and all the Iwis have got them in this headlock, death grip, syndicato, jab, COVID-19, lethal injection to kill you all and change your papa with your DNA, changes with the injection and they're coming out with another one. 
as soon as the government goes back into power and the governor general is gone back again, but we're not going to have her back again. He's gone, gone for good. That's what we're saying in this court. Okay, I'm in the court all the time. Sleep, wake, sleep, wake. I'm in the court at three o'clock in the morning. I'm awake, running the court. Okay, I'm practicing all the time what I preach. And that's how it works. I'm on my own two feet, online, talking to you. And I think that's long enough for here. And I'll leave it there and say thank you for listening if you want to listen and take what you can out of it. And I'll put it all online on the website Moai Powerhouse dot world. M O A I P O W E R H O U S E dot world. W O R L D. And that's in lowercase. You go there and I'm going to put the documents there as the latest. It'll be these books, two books, and also the videos of the latest court hearing and the outcomes of what's going to happen next. We're leading up to next week and the week after to get into place to start seizing the land, Cook Street, the East Coast lands, and the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, and whatever else then I've got to seize, even Punga Punga Marae at Pohara and the Mangatoki Mountains, seize that lot back too. Okay, so there, that's for city, that's, that's for, um, what's her name up there? Where you paying her? I keep, I keep forgetting her name. Anyway, her, she's going to look after, she's from there. Kitty Kitchia, that's her name, I think, something like that. But I forget all the time. And I need a feed, that's why I'm forgetting. And so, there. Um, if someone can help me out to pick up a, um, 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 a little, a little, um, um, a little, what you call it, one of those little buggies that the people, all people go around on getting one of those. Um, what's it called? Disabled thing with a little four wheels. It'll fit in the back of a van or trailer. Can you give me a hand to get it? I appreciate it very much. Otherwise, those people that said they can't deliver it, and they said I can buy it, but I have to go up to pick it up. And so uh, my car won't get in the boot of my car anyway. Won't, won't get into a car. You can forget about a car. It has to be a van where you can drive it into the back. <clears throat> it's one of those, what do you call it, disability cars. Those little ones you pop on and you can drive it. And a little battery thing. So I just need to, have to go up to the shop and put my groceries and everything on it. I forget, there's a name for it. Anyway, it's one of those little buggies. And uh, I've got three of them to choose from, so I'll just take the nearest one and go get it. Okay? So, dear, there we are. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye for now. Enjoy your evening. That was too long. Okay, bye. Today is Saturday, the 1st of June, 2024, and it's now 4.33 p.m. in the afternoon, and I think that's the time. 16.33, yeah, in Auckland, New Zealand. See you later. Bye.